Hello, everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> don't never, don't never That's ready. Real spit take. I didn't know if I didn't know if it was gonna work. I didn't know if it was gonna work. <laughs> Congratulations. You guys are punking yourselves now. I love this. Just sit on that for years. So welcome. Uh, before we get into the night's game, we have some quick announcements to get through. Starting first and foremost, we have two fantastic sponsors tonight. Our first sponsor, our friends for the entirety of Campaign 2, D D Beyond. Sam. D Beyond. Hey guys, D and D. There's an all new bundles have been added to D and D Beyond. The source book bundle gives you all published source books. That's the player's handbook, the DMG, Xanthar's guide, and more. Plus, ten percent off future source books. Perfect for the adventurer who wants every customization option at their fingertips. The adventure bundle gives you all published adventures. That's Curse of Strahd, Storm King's Thunder. We all know Waterdeep. We all know Dragon Heist. There are others, and 10% off all future adventures. Ideal for the intrepid DM who wants access to the many worlds of D&D. Check them out now at bit.ly slash beyond bundles. I'm sure that URL will show up. Um, but guys, what I wanted to talk to you about tonight, turn off your phones. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know about you, but I have been real bad about keeping up my voiceover career. Because <laughs> we've been so we've been so busy, right? Like doing oh, Kickstarter yeah. stuff. Yeah. 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 We're acknowledging that right now. Yeah. yeah. So my, my, my agent yeah. called and was like, you haven't done an audition in weeks. Mm -hmm. And I was like, when do I have time? And then it hit me. I have like between <laughs> two and four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> right, right here every Thursday night that no. I could do anything with. So I'm going to do some voiceover auditions. <laughs> if you guys, if you guys don't mind, with this really good sound quality yeah, in here, yeah, yeah, we have yeah. a good sound guy. Sure, this yeah. doesn't break anything. Um, I'm, I'm just going to knock them off. Uh, I'm going to substitute D and D Beyond in into the ad so that you know I'll edit it out later. But at least it feels like it's still an ad for the sponsor. Travis, you're in one of these too. I am. Yeah, get it on your email. Uh, but for for now, I've got I've got three spots to read, and I'll just read them real quick. Just quiet, please, because I'm going to use this audio later. <clears throat> okay. Hi, this is Sam Regal. New in the super value menu, it's D and D Beyond. Two mouthwatering pure beef patties, homemade buns, crispy lettuce, juicy tomato, and enough special sauce to make you say "dang." One more D and D Beyond for the road. Flame Grill D and D Beyond. Fuck. Pick up. <laughs> Flame Grill D and D Beyond now on the super value menu for a limited time. Okay, that's one spot. That's great. Right. I'll edit out the, the hiccup later. Good. Uh, good. Travis. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. So, so sometimes when you do oh, auditions, you do a partner read. Yeah, it's sometimes. But he's not even next to the mic. I'll edit yeah, him yeah, yeah, yeah. out later. Okay, it's just yeah. for me. I don't right. care about him. But anyway, uh, so so this will be a read that you do like with with a partner to audition for the role. Anyway, you ready? <clears throat> you start. Whoa, how'd you get to the campsite so fast? Easy. I drove here in my 2019 D&D Beyond XLS. <laughs> Sweet ride. With true four-wheel drive, stable tech steering, and a fuel-injected V8, D&D Beyond gets me anywhere I want to go. <laughs> my truck won't even start in these conditions. It's so weak and puny, just like me, Travis Willingham. <laughs> We'll do something about it. Lease a 2019 D&D Beyond and you'll feel as strong and masculine as me, Sam Regal. Plus, it's got Baselift 7.1 digital stereo system. On road or off, the D&D Beyond gets you there in style. Mind if I take it for a spin? No way, baby bro. Get your own D&D Beyond. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> okay, okay, some edits there, but I'll work on it later. That was such a cool voice. Yeah. Thank you. Well, yeah. You know, as a voice artist, you want to yeah. change your voice change to suit the material. Totally. I think you'll hear that on this next spot. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, this next spot's a little more serious, so. <clears throat> Hi, this is Sam Regal. When I found out I had genital herpes, I didn't know what to do. I was ashamed, embarrassed, and I couldn't stop itching my groin. But my doctor told me about D&D Beyond. Oh, no. D&D Beyond suppresses any mild to moderate case of genital herpes and is proven to reduce the sores, watery blisters, and burning sensation associated with the virus. Talk to your doctor about D&D Beyond. D&D Beyond is an over-the-counter subscription-based app. If you experience numbness in your buttocks or painful urination, stop using D&D Beyond and consult your doctor. 
Say goodbye to genital herpes <laughs> at dntbeyond.com. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Like Thanks, you, guys. I, like you're I did some. I did some good auditions I don't tonight. Know if that's <laughs> legally. <laughs> okay. I did some good VO work tonight, that guys. Wow. And I you think would. the sponsor's yeah. gonna love it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Yeah, sure. We're so sorry. <laughs> We're so sorry. Oh my God. Um, our second sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> that Sam is not announcing. Uh, our fantastic friends at Eldritch Foundry. If you guys haven't seen yet, the Kickstarter is up. Um, they are massive critters in their own right, and they are now uh, revealing, they are now makers of a fully customizable 3D printed miniature uh, program system, the whole thing. Uh, I, I don't know what the official title would be, but it's awesome. Um, so they have a really cool character creator app that you can check out um, that allows you to create uh, your actual characters and customize the minis before ordering them. What? All the different pieces have actual lore embedded to kind of help inspire as you're designing the character, which is pretty rad. Um, they're working hand in hand with actual local game stores to ensure that uh, every part of the community benefits from this awesome uh, program they're developing. Uh, but the Kickstarter is live as of today. Yay! So if you get a chance, check it out. There's an early bird special you can jump in for uh, with a discount as well as exclusive uh, marker bases available for them as well. Uh, to support them, go check out critroll.com slash Eldritch Foundry. That's E-L-D-R-I-T-C-H Foundry. Eldritch Foundry. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you read this? Damn it. Eldritch Foundry. Um, thank you so much. Uh, all right, quick reminder, uh, we, uh, many of our shows, including Hawks Machina and Critical We Are Watching Here, are available in podcast form on iTunes, Google, and Spotify, and as well as other places where fine podcasts can be found. Uh, look for the black Critical Role logo after searching for them uh, in your favorite app, and check out critroll.com slash FAQ for links and details about them. We've got some questions about the, uh, the, the podcast and where they go, so just making sure some folks know about that, remind your friends if they're confused. Um, we have a merch update from you, Laura, I believe. Oh, oh, this is an exciting one, guys. This is an exciting so one. So you may have noticed in the store this morning, we released some, you know, some shirts that people have been asking for for quite a while, and it's our Vox Machina original first season. Yes. We got our Grog oh, Strong. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 ale and our Dega Dega Dega. Oh, it was stealthing. Those are designed by OG critter Kenneth Riggles, so thank Hell you. Hell yeah, Kenneth. So thank you so much. Um, and in addition to that, we also have, oh, <gasps> this beautiful pin. You may have noticed Marisha wearing it on Talks Machina. Sneaky sneak. <laughs> Yeah, so these are in the store now too. Hey, Designed by Lauren Ibsum. Mm -hmm. So cool. I know yeah, we have them in the store, and um, we have, I think, some here at the studio, so we're all going to be taking some. Yeah. The pin on my jean jacket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Metal AF. Really dope pin. Yeah, metal um, AF. So, yeah, they're, uh, the shirts are in the US, the, the pins are in US and UK store, Ooh. and then the shirts are just in the US store for now, but they will be coming to the UK store. So. Awesome. Thank Rock. you, Laura. Thanks, Mark. I love it. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Very nice. I love this pen. Yeah, I love pen. it. And uh, final announcement for the evening, as of midnight tonight, we'll be turning over to May 10th, which is the birthday of our fabulous oh. Marisha Ray. Oh. I know it you could do. happen in game if we putter around long enough. <laughs> Please <laughs> don't. What's wrong with your face? Bad guy. Uh, as we get to uh, get to invite her into her majestic thirties. So happy to have you. Happy birthday. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, <laughs> she's so embarrassed. Look at her getting all warm and red. I'm settle down and start thinking about what, what you want to do and like really yeah. like you know get a proper job or something. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Will be stoked. I'm sure Take that, my life seriously. Yeah. yeah. Nobody could. Nobody plays the imagination their whole life. You got to be a real person. <laughs> a real person. Twitch real dot what? Oh, oh my god. Wait, really Is that birthday? <laughs> Needed that. Do I want to? I just. Uh, want to say. I believe that's the end of our announcements. So let's go ahead and bring ourselves into tonight's episode of Shh. Critical Role. <laughs> begins 
you, your nerdy best friends, and the DM to guide you, and they rise from the flames for the battles ahead. Villains, beware, cause you're about to be dead. They got magic and flair, they got falchions and cunning, they don't see over there, there's a monster and coming, inspiration is waiting, rise up, don't think twice, put your fate in your hands, take a chance, roll the dice. And welcome back, everyone. Cool. So, last we left off. Turducken! <laughs> See if we can get some music going here. So. I've had. <laughs> Thank you. Keep going. Um, last we left off, the Mighty Nine, upon returning from your journey towards the Penumbra Range, helping to free a group of surviving stone giants from a demonic incursion in yeah. their cavern, and in doing so, also helping free one of the local mines and steelworks of the Kreen dynasty from the scourge of these giants. You returned to the city of Rosona. You retrieved your reward for this venture, and uh, towards the end of taking some time to scout out some of the locations within the city, were greeted by uh, Essek and presented as the other half of your gift of helping the dynasty with the retrieval and return of one of the beacons, a home. So, with this uh, abode loosely furnished, but open to whatever customization features you're able to look into, interested in, can afford, uh, it, is, it is your house to make of it as you wish. So, Mighty Nine, as you step into the cold interior of your new home, uh, dark, dusty, but yours, what would you like to do? Spending all the money on booze, and we're going to have a, just a rager party for a week. <laughs> Crash the place. No furniture. Top to bottom. Yeah. Transpotting uh, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you leave it on tip jar, you can make your money back. Uh -huh. And then sometimes. <laughs> I look at Bo and go, let's claim our room! And I go running up the stairs to find the room that we want. And I chase after her. I go walking up the stairs. <laughs> I throw open all the doors, and I'm looking at all of them, and I'm comparing each one, because there's definitely a better one. Yeah. Or best one. Yeah. Roll well, for investigation. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you guys have your own aesthetics here, and you get to decide amongst yourselves who stays where. This is for you to decide, not me. <laughs> <laughs> this is. A, can I write on this? You, you may, it is yours. <laughs> I can always print more. Matt, yeah. Laura's in my room. I'm drawing Laura's in my another, room. I'm That's my room. Matt, That's Laura's in my room. <laughs> Both of you roll wisdom saving throws. <laughs> uh, I, con I contact. I oh! I rolled so good. Fuck, I rolled terrible. <laughs> <laughs> you get whatever room you want. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> before, uh, they're gone, but before Bye. we take apart this entire house, who is who's sleeping? I guess they're uh, bunking up. Jester uh, and, and Bo. Yeah. Well, I need a roommate. Yeah. Are we bunk? Wait, you what? I guess everybody doesn't need. There are need enough one, rooms here that people don't have to bunk up. Oh, really? How many bedrooms are there? One, two, three, four, five. Technically six, if you want to take that. I may take that. And then there's Thank one downstairs you. that's seven. Mm -hmm. Oh, All right. and What's then a room? room. I mean, you can do we a want a spare with... room for guests? Yeah, they can take the downstairs one. Uh, okay. We Wait, we're gonna have room. guests over? So you have, could. Yes. you have taken this one, the two yes, of you? Yes, yes, yes. I, 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 I have a quick point of con contention. I, that's yours. Are we works. are we planning to put down a little bit of roots here? Is this the plan? Is I'm not saying we're necessarily going to stay here, but is this? Are we deciding that this is just going to be? Are we going to be leaving things here? Well, no, right? Uh, well, I'm, I mean, this is a good question to put forward, yeah. and, I, and I'm and I'm fine either way, but. Uh, it's a, it's a base of operations. We could come and go as we please, obviously, but we're not going to stay here forever. We have. 
go ahead. No. We have this together. Even if we leave, I think we still have it. So, it might property be just is property. Useful just to have a have a place to come back to to circle around yeah, if things yeah, go awry. I've never had a house before that wasn't, you know, also like a club. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I've lived in some odd places. Well, yeah. one odd place. We can go one like, place. Mm, isn't that odd? Chica, mm, chica, mm, chica, it's that until you feel right. comfortable. Have you ever lived under a roof? Um, not like this, no. Yeah. Just things that we've sort of built out of, I don't know, stuff of, of the earth, but I've, I've never lived in a home like this before. Do you want to this sleep on the weird. balcony? Well, if there is a room that's that's close to the balcony, I wouldn't mind sometimes if I if I feel a little weird or a little squirrely that I could go outside and sleep. You can be next to us, your chef, you want to. Mm. That little room right there. Mm. Yeah, yes. I'll, I'll, or I'll this one. I'll I'll take that one in the middle if that's yeah. uh, not I'm already going to taken. Like Yasha on here. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, we were watching up. Like, how secure is this thing? Is it made of wood, stone? Are there uh, windows that you can get to off the ground floor? <clears throat> Both, actually. I mean, the, the foundation itself is stone, um, and it looks like some of the uh, the load bearing portions of the building are stone, and then there is a a painted. Uh, mm. Vermilock wood around those for decoration and additional support. Right. So it's both. Okay. Yeah. And windows galore. There are a number of windows. Yes. So I hardly matters. Safety it's pass. Dark out all day anyway. And Caleb, will you be upstairs or downstairs? I don't. I don't know. You are. You are with your. Also Yeza. With I, yes, of course. I'll be with Yeza, but um, I think we'll take. We, we we could take the room next to Yasha. I think there's a library too. Oh. Well, this one has access to a whole other bedroom. Whoever's staying in this far one, they have to cross through someone else's room to get here. Well, this could be a common room or used for some other purpose Mm -hmm. besides a bedroom. And then make a bedroom off of that? Yes, correct. Mm. Okay, so let's. I took this bed anyway, so let's take this bed and move it in Mm -hmm. here. (laughs) This is a. Drag beds. This is a happy room. A happy room? Yeah, so where you go and economy. you hang out and you'd be happy. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were talking about one. This is a bedroom. I didn't know. I've room. never because had a happy room. room. Now you yeah, do. Uh, you I mean, do you, are you happy when you, yeah. before you go in, you have to be happy, or is it the room that you get happy in? Who's in the bedroom at the end? The corner suite. Somebody's really happy. One person gets a corner room that's okay. next to the happy room, one that's person gets. This is you and Yeza. Yeza, yes. I'm going to go in and push your beds together so you can have a nice, <laughs> comfy room together. <laughs> Yeah. I don't like that mattress in the middle of the, the split. Yeah, it never works yeah. out. Right. Yeah. Should I write fat or should I write no? Maybe no. 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 <laughs> just a bath, huh? Just a bath, huh? Maybe paint the beds so together. Well, I don't need to because I, I mean, I could. I don't like the little seam. She's just saying. Could you just paint out the seam? Well, remember when we tried to do that before, and I made like a plank of wood, but it was just a loose plank of wood. Mm. I'm afraid if I do you're that, right, it'll just right. be a Waste stripe, of yeah, of fabric yeah. or something. <laughs> so you're over here then, or do you want to be downstairs? Uh, uh, Where are you what going about forward? forward? Oh. Who's downstairs? Who's in the corner? Ford? Who's, who's next to us? Whoever is next to us, I definitely won't spy on them there, ever. There is a. This is a, a, a common room, or a, a, this could be a study or a laboratory. Um, and then you could be next to it. I will, I will stay. So you downstairs. want this corner one downstairs? Yeah. Under, not. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if y'all need a uh, strap and protector of courage and bravery, untold portions, I don't mind sitting next to y'all. You know, if you sleep <laughs> and we share a wall, mm-hmm. we can learn Morse code and we can just tap to each other throughout the wall. <gasps> or, you know what else we could do? I could paint a hole in the wall and then I don't we know can what we like, said. talk to each other through the hole. Just a big hole in the wall? Like a little one, we could like, Is or I could put like, no, no, but I could make one. I don't think we want to deface the house that's a gift, right? <clears throat> but if we, we wanted to a, add to it, we could. Yeah, like I could add a hole in the wall. Caduceus, what are you going to do? I think I'm going to put down roots. <laughs> <laughs> and so you're going to be in the tower outside, right? Oh yeah, I got an idea. Okay. Is What's there a, a place for, uh, for like a training? 
training or anything like that? Yeah, let's turn this room that was a bedroom into a training room. This is so Dope. visually yeah, compelling for our audience. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and now interpretive dance. It's our game, we're playing for us. <laughs> Here, wait. Right. Welcome to D&D. Can you map. see? Well, yeah, we'll post a picture. Yeah, it's, you know, just Yasha for, or, but, yeah, Bo, <laughs> you get it. <laughs> <laughs> you get it, yeah. It's fine. Fine. it's fine, it's fine. Important, so, and the rest. Chesto, this is the this is where we are building your training room? Training room! Okay, so I'm going to mark this as, as a library and laboratory. Library, it's already a library, so. Yeah, but so. we're going to add a lab for that. Okay, plus lab. Yeah. You got it. Same room? Yeah, library and lab. Well, different ends. Of the, I don't. We don't have a vast library. I, just I know, but study. if there's like a fire or something, I'm just saying. I can handle that. Um. Hey, I think there's a blood stain in the basement, you guys. Really? No, I think someone was just eating something with ketchup when they were holding the map. Oh. Okay. Oh wow. No. No, what I think is that? there's blood. Can we investigate oh. the basement for blood? Sure. You go and investigate the basement. Okay. Uh, it is empty. Uh, make an investigation check. Kitchen. Hey! Oh, hey. Into dice. I'm into these dice. Twenty. Yeah. Twenty. Nice. Uh, inspecting the the corners of it, you find uh, rat droppings. You find leftover bits of chewed wood. Um, you, there is a stain. The stain appears to have been left by some sort of a, a ruptured wine cask at a mm. time long ago. But other than that, the room is empty. It was wine. Mm. That's harmless. Hey, Bo, you're okay with Nugget being in our room, right? Do I have a choice? Yes. <laughs> of course, you know, we have patio access, maybe I can just, you know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I can. Yeah, as long yeah. as it doesn't get in my bed, he drools a lot, you know? He won't, he won't. You got a patio? You okay. could be in that little outdoor. Yeah, door yeah head you head. don't have one, though. Yeah. You could. He could be our guard Nugget. I have a question. Yes. What is this circle? Oh. You could paint uh, The circle is just a design on the floor. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I do want to do a big once over of the house and start checking it and see if I can find any signs of it being bugged. Bug. Bugged. Bug. Okay. Yeah. I'm also, yes. I want yes. to check for vibes. For vibes? It's, vibes. Is that okay. a detect vibe? Detect well? vibes. <laughs> I want to Lebowski this can place. Can you walk into a room and know where people have had sex? Did you roll? I rolled a natural one. Uh, so. But I was looking to you. But Jester was looking to you. I'm just not you as good at it. I thought I said I was. Well, if did I did not that, say I was? I've ca- sure, I'll allow it. Go if ahead, this is trunk, did I just say? Do it. Well, let's get check. I like that the DM changes his mind. Hey. You guys spend the better part of a couple hours casing the place, checking the walls, checking areas, not quite sure what you're looking for, but for any signs of tampering. I would trail along with Detect Magic as well. Okay, and where are you doing? Um, I was just like checking the place out, just doing a walk through, getting a sense of it. Okay. Ah. Trying to see if I feel like this place has good vibes or bad vibes. Okay. Roll a general wisdom check. I'm into it. 18. 18. Uh, I mean, the place is fairly neutral vibes. It's a house. Um, you don't sense any evil presence. You don't sense a uh, oh. a case somewhere that's exuding. Although you did mm. terrible energy, you did just you did just inspire something in me. I might also do a walk around with the detect magic up just to see if it pings anything. All right, so the two of you are doing a detect magic pass. Yeah. Each of you, just looking around. Okay. Uh, as you both scan through the house, feeling pretty confident in your ability to to locate or sense anything that gives off any sort of magical aura, um, but come up short. All right, Nothing. it's cool. And uh, is, is is the kitchen all uh, stocked with anything, or do we need to stock it? No, you need to stock everything. The, ho- the house has been cleaned out, other than like the, the base furniture there. There's some bookshelves, but there's no books. There are you know some tables, some chairs, some beds, very basic, um, and that's about it. So you're going to have to furnish it. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> what about secret entrances? Like, if we pull up the rugs and look for trap doors, I if think we, there if are we push rugs. the clocks out of the way? There's no clocks. There's clocks. Are you no. sure? They've, they've been pre-pushed. <laughs> All the way out of the way, out of the house. 
And then there's some sort of storage shed. That's, that's the, basement. the basement. Oh, that's the basement. It's okay. you access it from the kitchen. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you know we have. Kitchen. I guess it's a root cellar. We have dining room area. This is training. This is the study in the laboratory. There is another room up here, which is yet to be chosen what it is, and the same for this one and this one. Yeah. No, that's my room. No, this is your room. Oh. This is the happy oh, you're room. Right. That's the happy what room. What is the happy room? That's for? the happy room. It's for being happy. It's beanbags. Probably <laughs> outdoors. <laughs> so like, li- like a living space. Yeah. yeah. Like a lots of lava lamps, pinball machines, yeah. hookah, name hookah cabinet. Uh, Lots will be right next to you, and they'll be far away from me. Right. It's got a pit maybe, to the floor. Maybe yeah. entering into the the library, we can um, and the, we can put a, a bookcase, and that's the entrance. Because I've I've heard of these types yeah. of things before, yeah. like a secret entrance, yeah, like a secret entrance. So like nobody would even know. Like Caleb's room would be hidden then if we made that the case. Is there a hidden staircase mm. in the in the house That's that we cool. could? I mean, like, do you want to hide? You have it? to pull on one of the the, the Wait, books. You had a book that in. you got. That well, you have one to book, Caleb. I mean, that I've could be the book things. that you have to pull to open the, mm. the latch. Well, the, the seafaring. Uh, yeah, you have it still. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. we can make that the trigger for a copy of the hidden staircase. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> That's. I've never I feel, um. no, I feel bad now. Uh, yeah, I may. Uh, I'm, I've got some ideas. I may uh, ask your assistance with a couple of things. Uh, I need to uh, do a little stone shaping, maybe, and uh, move some earth if that makes. If you can help me For with that. For your room? It's, uh, it I got an idea. With me, it would be rough, but yeah, I can, I can do it. some stone shaping. You know some stone shaping. All right. Maybe I do. Okay, maybe. Wooden roof, right? Beams, thatch, and stuff like that. Correct. Uh, with with uh, dark tiles on it, like like uh, clay tiles. Cool. <coughs> yeah, I want to watch whatever Caduceus is doing. All right, yeah, Caduceus, what are you doing? So. Not that I don't have great ambition. Just try it. I'm going to want to move as <laughs> like a bunch of dirt. I'm going to try and make a rooftop the garden. Don't work. Up the top of the okay. tower. Uh, there is dirt to be found. You have to relocate it probably from from the immediate vicinity of the hole. Sure. So you will dig a, a small hole in one of the nearby. There's like a ten foot radial yard around the house before you start piercing into yeah, you know, nearby neighboring territory. Sure. But yeah, you can you can amass. How much dirt are you planning to put up there? Um, enough to, enough to support uh, support uh, some 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 plant growth. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to do something dumb, but and, okay, and uh, and I'm going <laughs> to use a little stone shape to just sort of shape the tower a little bit to be supportive of of one I'm going to put up there if that works okay, out. What, okay. What spells this particular? Stone shape. Stone shape. You have that. <clears throat> I have that. Your magic. Stone shape. It'll take a few days. This is not a one-day project. This is just yes, over. Yeah. Yeah. You can totally do that. Okay. So uh, between the two of you, definitely easy. It's gonna it's gonna be just rounding it out a little bit to support what I'm building, and then also creating like a little faux cabin esque uh, like little chunk of it, so that there's a place to sleep up there. That's that's kind of covered. It. I'll I'll draw it out for you. Okay. And so does it seem that and getting the dirt up there is good? Uh, I can do yeah. that. I use uh, Maximilian's earth and grass to make the cat's claw come up out of the soil, oh. and then just travel as soil to the top of the tower because it can move. That's true. That'll do it. Even easier. So I mean, you have you have a you have a comfortable amount of loose soil now. All uh, right, on the top of your your tower. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna seed it with my with my uh, with my ability. Seed. Like anything that's dead in there, I'm just gonna start things going. <laughs> okay. Spread your seed all over. Uh, yeah. Everyone. And I'm gonna take a look around. Thank you for that. I'm gonna take a look around. Look out, your hoss. <laughs> we're growing eggplants. Well, I mean, if we're gonna if we're gonna be here for a while. Might as well get comfortable, and I'm gonna um, drop right in the center of the feather of the to- token of the tree. Oh, Ooh. feather of the shit! Ooh. Wait, hold on. Oh, wait, your tree growing thing? It's a massive tree on the top of the tower. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> awesome. Okay, <laughs> I've tried to create a little section that'll hold the roots and I hold the whole. Must be really outdoors. Yeah. yeah. So, anywhere. so uh, yeah. as you as you oh, take as you take the token. Just... And drop it into the center of the little little gap you've left in the dirt. Hang on. The token just kind of rests in there. Wait for it. You hear this heavy rumbling, and you watch as roots just 
split out from the center of the token and dig into the dirt and down into the stone, and you feel the stone kind of shift slightly beneath your feet. The actual tower itself seems to be adjusting in some way to the rooting of this. So you watch as suddenly a series of branches begin to extend like rapid spider legs. And as they reach out, leaves flower on the edges of these branches until eventually a large trunk fires up into the sky, the canopy expanding above to a 60-foot tall tree, a five-foot diameter trunk, um, which in itself is beautiful, since all the trees in the region are red and brown in color. This is the only green-leafed tree in all of Rosona. Wow. Oh, roots put down. Well, now we're gonna die. It's the tree house. We have a tree house now. Tree. I'm gonna it goes be... so high on top of the tower. Yeah. Wow. Make a perception check. Oh. We just uh, announced made a statement. Uh, yeah. Fifteen. Fifteen. You hear out of the corner of your eye, your your your, 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 your fear bog oh. ear tweaks a bit. Uh, ear even. Mm. Corner of your ear. It's been a uh, it's been a day. It's been Sorry. a day. My fault. Um, Sorry, it's been hundreds of hours of narration. It's fine. It's okay. You know, it's cool. Uh, you hear a few voices, and you glance over down the street. You can see various civilians of Rosona gathering in the street and all kind of looking up at this massive tree that has sprung out of nowhere. They're gathering and pointing and grabbing other folks, and there's a crowd gathering now on the outskirts of your house as uh, the, those of you who have gathered up on top of the, the rooftop and the tower to see what has happened kind of glance over and see the neighbors very curious and some of them concerned about this massive green tree now. A, a spire beacon in the center of this neighborhood in the firmaments. I haven't even been here half a day. Did we check the lease? Are we able to make modifications? <laughs> the <laughs> there goes our security <laughs> device. <laughs> uh, like a scurrying sound, pumpkin just starts climbing up the length of the tree and disappears into the uh, heights. Nugget goes and pees on it. Immediately. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. In the time that we've been here, is it particularly windy in this area of Jorhas? Like, Make a nature check. Uh, uh, Can I see the map? Oh, yes, I see it. 11. You didn't need to make the check, I just wanted to make it. Oh. Um, <laughs> you know if it was one of your not. Uh, it can vary. <laughs> it can vary. Um, it's not particularly windy in the experience of the time you've been here so far, except for during the storm. In the storm, it got a little windy. Um, you do notice at the height that the tree is at, 60 feet up from this point, though, there is more wind above than there is kind of ground level. It seems like the uh, the buildings and the structures seem to kind of uh, I have to guide the most of the, the tree. If I have to top the tree. You're not supposed to do it, but I'll do it if I have It's to. not terribly windy, but you can see the, the, the 20-foot canopy is kind of, you can hear the rustling of the leaves. It's actually really pretty and soothing. Uh, the trick is now going to be figuring out if there's a way that I can Keep it alive. Well, that's the thing, is I'm going to have to figure out a way of kind of maybe imbuing a couple objects with some very basic daylight spells that can I can trigger off once a, once a day. There is that, yeah. So I may have to go looking for that or talk to the, to the clever, clever kids about that. I mean, it's a magic tree that came out of a token. Does it need sunlight? I honestly plan on growing a lot more than just a tree. Um, oh my God. The so. tree will be the sun we? for other things. <laughs> I don't think I can cast a sunlight spell that path. That's a lot of. That's a. That's a very expensive sunlight spell. <laughs> <laughs> if we're going to be building a. That's a. That's for the basement. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, campaign, oh, oh, oh. The campaign ends with my night opening a dispenser. Dispenser. Rosona. Hydroponics. You know what? It would make perfect sense. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. 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 It's a fitting end. Yeah. You guys tried this moss? No, but I. I, I thought it would. I thought it would be nice to have a proper garden that reminds us of home and a place where we can have a little sliver of of something that isn't this place and. And I'm gonna. I have. I have a few needs, and and growing things in some sunlight sure. is one of them. Whatever Having I can get away with. A giant sixty foot tree in your bedroom is a totally basic need that I think it's we can something all. Something I've had my entire life. Sure. sure. <laughs> Don't have a lot of needs. This is one of them. All the right. crowd isn't dispersing, but they definitely are aware that you're aware of them, so they're being quieter. I, I may. Uh, I may. Go down and say hello to every to people at the gate. All right. Um, yeah, you you meet some of the passersby. Right. Uh, they seem you curious and definitely a bit off put by both the presence of the tree and the the general lack of fear bulgs in Rosona. Sure. Some of them are curious. Some of them are dubious. Um, Fair. But nothing nothing beyond that. No. A few hands are shaken. A few conversations are had. Then slowly, people begin to 
disperse a bit, though their attention is still kind of over their shoulder in this strange new visual wooden monolith that sits in the center of the district. Just going to get weirder. <laughs> <laughs> so excited. I have so many plans. Perfect. Mm. Uh, anything else anyone else is doing? Uh, why don't we make this room a meeting room, planning room? Sounds like a the good war idea. Room. The war room. War room? Yeah. Okay. We need a just. A, we need to go shopping and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, this is just a thing. We can just hang out in these places. Yeah. It's nice. These are just open. This kind last of one could be maybe a guest guest room. Yeah. Sure. Did why not? Slash prison. What did yeah. Bob Beauregard? Didn't she want like some sort of a training pit or something? Well, that's what we're yeah. yeah. doing downstairs. Oh, you got one. Yeah. You got one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. We have training. We have study. We have uh, the happy room. <laughs> The war room, right next to each other. Oh, happy in the war room, the door. <laughs> the kitchen and, have options. and dining room. <laughs> kitchen and dining room, so really the only, and Caduce is, is up top here. Yeah. So the only <laughs> thing. I love that book. Yeah, war happy. <laughs> well, let's leave that for when we have a need. That's, that's what I did. It's so guest storage. room to be, but storage room right now. TBD. Yes, room of requirement for sure. After we talk about things in the war room, then we get ha- we can go into the, the happy room. <laughs> cool and just like cool dance around. Yeah, 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 yeah. Time. Safety dance. <laughs> I feel good about this. Great. <laughs> well done, guys. <laughs> like the neighbor, in, we'll like the neighbor in Mary Poppins who fires off the cannon every hour. <laughs> yes, there you go. Oh no. Yes. Alrighty. So, in, in choosing your rooms, um, I imagine you wish to furnish them. Is there any specific requests? Well, sheets. Yeah. Oh, they come with sheets. They come with. They don't come with towels. We'll say. We'll there's say. Like a bed and a mattress. We'll say for for yeah. They, there's there's bed and mattresses. Uh, for for basic functional needs here, it'll be ten gold to to furnish. For enough of you guys in the house for your for your basic like, you know, towels, linens. Um, Things like that. Chamber pots. Oh yeah, we don't have a bathroom. Who's paying that? Tub? Chamber pots. There's a chamber. There's a probably a like an outhouse. Okay, that's it. There we go. Okay. We could make that to be determined room just a shit a shit room. <laughs> no, oh, God. That explains <laughs> the stain in the basement. Uh, no. Oh. Oh. DM, what would I need to pay extra for there to be uh, bookshelves and alchemical laboratory equipment? Uh, there are bookshelves there. There's aren't any books on them, um, and that would be in the one that you've turned into the library slash laboratory. Yeah. Oops. As well as the room you're considering a prison room. I've got the basic furnishings. Um, if you're yeah. looking to to oh, require an alchemical I think I'm yes. to be laboratory, for, for not. Uh, that would be. I'm doing vegetable. I'm doing fruit and vegetable. I'm going to be doing a lot of fruit like there. Good, good. What if Fifty we, gold pieces flowers, for I'm a set of doing al- a alchemical uh, supplies. I, ca- uh, I cover it. You cover it. All right. Can I buy um, like a lot of like paints? A lot of paints, yeah. Uh, for a set of painter supplies, it's ten gold. You can buy multiple sets if you want. Think about this all week. Yeah, I need like a lot. <laughs> like could define a lot. <clears throat> She's going to paint the house. Gonna paint the house. I'm gonna paint a lot of things. I would on recommend the walls. then dropping somewhere in the neighborhood of like seventy to eighty gold of painter supplies to paint the entire house. Well, not every, all the house. I'm gonna paint some of the rooms. Oh, the, some of the rooms. Oh, not the okay. Not the outside of the house. How many rooms? Like, like probably like three rooms or something. I'll put that three, three, three painter supply kits. Okay. So Thirty gold. Thirty gold. You got it. All righty. Um. I'm Kind of just want to sort of recreate what I had at home, so very simple, simple stuff. But then I'm going to want some gardening supplies and some some stuff for that. And then, yeah, um, gardening supplies you can easily put together with five gold and, and some things like that. And then also up there, just a well, well, the complicated things we'll figure out a little bit later with the light. But uh, I also kind of. Want to sculpt it a bit? I'm thinking about like the garden at Lake Shrine. I'm, if you remember, yeah, yeah. As I want to have little alcoves either in the tree or in the stone as we go together. Probably a bit of both that give everybody who has a um, who has a god like a little shrine, like a micro shrine for everybody. So there's a that can totally be done. It's a tight space because it, your, your, it is a five foot tree in the middle of what is essentially a twenty foot. Oh yeah, uh, it's going to go up tower. the tree too. So um, oh, like up the trunk and like mm-hmm. in the branches. Easy, easy little, easy enough for you to do. It'll take a little bit of time to carve the alcoves in the actual tree. Take time. Um, the stone <laughs> is a little easier to shape based on the spell. But yeah, you can totally do that without issue. Mm-hmm. Um, the windows on the bedroom. That's so cool. <laughs> Glass pane. Glass pane, yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, do they open? Latched. Solid? Mm-hmm. Latched? 
Uh, the ones that are in more open chambers, like we'll say uh, the, the training, what is now the training room, uh, the dining room, those all can open. Um, there, there are oh, not every room has it. Just places for like possible crossbreeds and. Would they have wooden shutters, like storm shutters? Uh. I would say no. It doesn't seem like there's storms that bad that come through here to require that. Those aren't. Could like I pay to have some through. wooden shutters put on the inside of the windows? That can be done. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. I'd I'm say if, uh, on all the windows. Just on mine. <clears throat> okay. Unless the ladies also want some, you know, ability to, you know, I don't know, get some daytime Z's, you know, outside of like curtains. It's all dark anyway. Well. Yeah, I'm just offering. You can just say no. <laughs> no, I'm okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Yeah, shutters from one. <laughs> All right, supplies and installation, a gold piece. You got it. Deal. What were the gardening supplies? What did they cost? Oh, there's five gold. Oh, yeah. So I'm just like 10 gold in. I, w- I would like to get a set of those as well because I want okay. to help out. Oh, yeah, we can. Do any oh, garden. man. I'm, yeah, we're just um, going to be nonstop. Okay. When, when Yasha and Caduceus are distracted gardening, mm-hmm. I'm going to go into Yasha's room mm-hmm. and I'm going to paint a mural. I am. Though. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm going to go in a room and I'm going to paint like a field of wildflowers on her wall. Oh. So oh. Oh no, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> That's I will say I will say make a performance check with advantage. Uh, the big one? Stuff. Yes. Here's my stuff. Uh, about accuracy, this is about the, okay. the beauty of the show. Advantage. Thirteen? Thirteen, yeah, that's more than enough. Okay. Uh you you do it. Quickly, uh, you, they get back before you finish, but as as you arrive, Yasha, and go to throw supplies into your room, you come in as you see a frantic oh, gesture trying eyes, to. Close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes! I close my eyes, but kind of halfway open one. <laughs> it's almost done. Chester. Well, I just remembered how much you loved seeing them and everything, and it's very, you know, dark here, and this is so beautiful. Thank you so much. You're this welcome. is such a nice thing that you did. Well, you know. Oh, is it dry? No. Okay. Don't touch it yet. <laughs> but then when it's dry, you can go over and touch it all you want. I love it so much. Thank you, Jester. You're welcome. Oh, this is beautiful. If you want anything else painted in there, you just let me know. Okay, I will let you know. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. There's a dick hidden somewhere in there. <laughs> a hidden okay, dicky? I'll, I'll see if I can find it. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to move my bed close. <clears throat> not touching yet, because I know it's not dry. Right. But I'm going to make sure I want to sleep yeah. next to it. And there is a way, the way it's it's uh, it's painted, if you put the bed and you lay it back, you kind of feel like you're laying in a field, which is really nice. Oh, that's the best. <laughs> All righty. Uh, things for the house. Yes. Uh, so once the laboratory is, is uh, installed with the library, I would take time to check out uh, if there are any books of worth or notice left behind. Uh, there are no books in the oh, library. Oh, I thought you said there were a few books. Forget no, that. I said there's bookshelves, but no books. I thought here. you said both. Forget yeah, that. Okay. So instead, I would spend a couple of hours taking my um, limitless spool of silver thread mm-hmm. and permanently affix silver thread along the windows in my room, permanently there, and also on the doorway to my bedroom, and also uh, on the door to the laboratory (laughs) that leads to my bedroom, and I would uh, set them so that there is a different toned chime in my head for each one of those three, and that will be part of my bedtime ritual. Any time I go to sleep in this house will be to set those three (coughs) chimes. You got it. Cool. And what about my room? What about my ingesters? What about the whole house? That's a lot of chimes. Can you, uh, could you be chiming? Could you do the house? Would we hear the chimes, or would you just hear the chimes? <clears throat> they could be either or. <coughs> but it would be like a, an hour <laughs> to do that every night. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, you can, uh, it's a chime whenever you set up. I, could, I can work this spell so that an audible chime is heard by anyone within your shot, or I can have it so just I hear it. Uh, but it takes some time, each one. But every night? Yeah. Ah. I, I got an idea. Yeah, like I have to do it every night. Watch this. I'm going to purchase some some 
uh, go to the blacksmith, I suppose, and purchase some copper tubing. Okay, which which is a little pricey right now since the mine had been mm-hmm. shut down for a while and was the largest source of copper. It's fine. Not a to ton. Arizona. Just a couple different pieces. Uh, okay, how big and how long? I'm um, about about this this big, <laughs> like three or four. <laughs> and I, I'm, I, need, I'm, I need to look right at Laura after I yeah. said that. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna string them up. I'm just gonna I'm gonna hang a I'm gonna hang up basically a whim chime behind the main door so that now there's just a sound that happens anytime okay. someone that we can all hear. <laughs> I'll say right. I'll say five silver. Yeah, silver. Done. Five silver for the pizza. Classic. We have a, we have yeah, a sound that will may sure. anytime someone enters the house now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> if they come, now we're spending they come to some kill time. Us to the front door. Yeah, right. we're, front door. we're spending some time for a few days, um, like getting our house uh, up and well, running. Well, depends what you. If, if you guys are, you were talking about going to the um, the uh, overcrow. Oh yeah. For or at least there is that. Yeah, because me- two weeks. Happening. We have two weeks before that happens. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll say. I'll say with all this setup here, which is taking probably a couple days worth of pair, you have about eleven days left before that's supposed and, to be happening, I, or actually be ten days. So. I have an irritating thing I wanted to do. I had an irritating cleric thing I wanted to do at the end of the night before we ended the last game, which is I have this. Uh, I have this spell called Legend Lore. Mm-hmm. I wanted to cast it on the sword, the two sword pieces that I have. On the what? On the what? Oh, the, what the sword! The oh, <gasps> yeah, the sword. We gotta yeah. fucking figure out the sword. Yeah, I gave I gave you the sword. Mm-hmm. <laughs> By the way, uh, uh, <laughs> in the I think it happened. The days since we've been yeah, I'm yeah, pretty yeah, sure it happened. Gave the sword. sword. <laughs> I wanted to cast Legend Lore on. Oh, that. Can you do that once a day? Okay. I can do that yeah. once a day. So as long as I'm pretty convinced that nothing terrible is gonna happen. Right. I could well, do that too. Yeah. To help out, if you know. You do have to buy 250 gold worth of oh, incense. It is. It is. That's right. It is a. It is a. It is a. That's right. Spendy spell. It is a yep. spendy yeah. spell. That's fair. And four ivory strips. I don't that are worth 50 of gold things. each. Okay. Ooh. We could all so okay. That's fair. 250 gold worth of incense every time you cast it. And you have to. And have the you have four to have. The, it doesn't consume the ivory, but you need about 200 gold worth of ivory. Okay. It doesn't consume it though. It doesn't consume the ivory, but it consumes the okay. incense. So it essentially costs you. All right. I'll wait. 450. Then. First time, and then 250 every additional time you want to cast it. I feel like it's worth it. Boy, that would yeah. be yeah. super sweet with a Dota I can put in like 50 gold. Um, I got some money. Let's see what I got. Um, except I'm I, first though. The, I mean, like the, that's the thing is the sun is the sun spell is by far my my biggest uh, is my biggest thing I'm trying to get. So this may have to wait if we. Up uh, to you. Um, um, how difficult would it be to figure out how to how to enchant some object to just give me? A few hours of sunlight up there to keep the plants alive and everything copacetic. Uh, or like, what level is the spell? This, this is sunlight. This is. Uh, I think it's a level daylight spell. five. Daylight is daylight five. Is, but that's like damaging daylight. I mean, technically speaking, if I have like a whole bunch of tiny light spells, would that be enough to keep a, a garden? Like the cantrip. Yeah. Uh, it is not considered sunlight. There is daylight, which is a third level spell. Okay. Okay. Um, lasts for an hour. In order to to enchant it permanently, uh, I would say. Let me double check here. Yeah, you, you get what I'm trying. I'm trying to. Yeah, nothing damaging. I'm just trying to. I'm trying to just make yeah. a make a happy place. Yeah. But I'm aware this is weird. Even the drift globe that I have is only casts the spell, so it's one hour. So that idea. I would say it would take about, depending on the roll, one to two weeks to complete it, and cost okay. about 200 gold worth of supplies. Okay. Um. So if you want to do that, it'll take up probably the majority of, of the time you have left, but it can be done. Um, yeah, I, th- I, th- I think, I mean like. A, At least eight like hours a day of focusing on the tree's gonna die and crafting it, so. Hmm? The tree's going to die. Otherwise. Yeah, no, i got to do it, so I'm going to do it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so mark off 200 gold All right, of supplies for that. Can we can help? Um, uh, I'll take a little help. Yeah, I'll put in some too. I'll put in. I'll put in thirty gold. Okay. Thirty gold. So that's uh, that's now I'm at a hundred and seventy. Okay. I'll if put in if somebody else has the capability to cast daylight as well, and they want to take oh. the time to help you, you can reduce the time in half. No, no. Oh, that would be amazing. Okay, awesome. Um, so I'll 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 spend a hundred gold if you guys can. Put, you can yes. put thirty in. Well, here I'll spend a hundred and. You spent thirty. What's the price on it again? Two hundred gold. Two hundred gold. So I'll put in. I'll put in. If you've got thirty in already, I'll put in. Um, this sounds like one hundred twenty. Okay, figuring if out and tap. If yes. you got fifty, <laughs> all right. Absolutely. So what are you enchanting it into? What 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 is the means of you developing this item since you are creating it? Um, and technically, it's the first created magical item in this campaign. It is technically mm. created the first created magical item. I'm I I. 
basically want to want to I basically want to make Christmas lights. Can we put them in like yeah, like oh. little flasks, like gold, like like, oh, like maybe making a liquid that I can then like a liquid that I can then pour off to like yeah. fill the tree with. Yeah. So okay, tree like market oh lights. So Beautiful. yeah, a so lot of liquid. Okay, I will say I will say technically <laughs> for, for that amount of lights, technically, technically uh, for both the tree and the garden and for the length of what you're doing, uh, both working together, it, I would say it would take twice as much time to create that amount. But mm. since you're helping with it. It reduces the time. It does cost twice as much, so it'd be 400 gold total. Ooh. Ooh. But that would be for the tree and the garden. Super worth it. Um, who can else? Who else can it. put some gold? I in? can put in. Uh, All right, I'm doing 100. 100 I can do. I can do uh, um, 150. So okay. I'll, I'll burn 150 worth. I'll put in another 20 gold. I can put in 20 if you need. Or if you're there, no worries. So, okay. Toss twenty as well. Thanks. Yeah, I feel like this is. I feel like this is a good investment. So we're the, we're the house on the block with a sixty foot tree on our roof and market lights and lights. Yeah. <laughs> our place is gonna Christmas look lights. so fucking Let's cool. Open a bistro. <laughs> so <laughs> we could get um, piano music. Just, since, since, since Jester's helping you, have you guys both uh, roll a d twenty and then add your. Uh, I'll say add your wisdom modifier. Okay. Can the lights change colors? Oh, the Grizzle. Uh, yeah, uh, 19. 19? Uh, 12. That's fine. All right, yeah, so th there, wasn't, there was no catastrophic failure. Um, in the process, you didn't waste your materials and the time spent. Um, so over this period of time, you begin to take thick cording and a series of uh, glass jars, and you instill yes. each one of these jars upon where it connects with it with an element of the daylight spell. So it's supposed to be one singular globe of energy. You produce a string of lights um, with, I would say, between the two, a total of close to 100 feet of tiny daylight oh. orbs. Damn, um, your house with balls of daylight. <laughs> <laughs> Dividing it in half, uh, you can go all about the, the canopy of the tree, and that should be sufficient daylight to maintain the tree. And the other half of it, you can take through the garden you're beginning to build within the stone top of the tower. Like around, yeah, around all the stones and put them in. So around. we should do like, like a canopy of light, you know what I mean. Yeah, so well, it goes like, from the branches down to like. Yeah, the the, the hope is so it's no, we're not putting light out. We're bringing light yeah, in. Yeah, this yeah. is all about keeping it in. We don't want to be. We don't want to oh, be it's on the yeah. underside. Uh, yeah, this it's all yeah. about the this process yeah. takes takes about a week for them to put all that together. <laughs> and as as you're doing it, the neighbors do come by and look and are confused. And then once they go up, the confusion and mistrust turns into awe and jealousy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to be making it very clear that I'm going to be making things that are edible and that we are going to be. Sharing with the neighbors is another. It won't help. I know. <laughs> uh, on day two of this marathon, uh -huh. Caleb uh, transcribes teleportation circle into his spellbook. Oh my god! Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> where, where can you send someone? That was I have to time. know where uh, a sigil is. And the only one we know is in is in Nicodranas. Okay. Okay. Well, then there's one here. Yeah. As well, but we've seen three technically. Huh? Remind so by, mem by memory, you can yeah. remember all three. You sketched one I down, which is the one that you saw in in the tower. Useless place. Yes. Uh, but oh, there were two that you passed by in Asarius, and when oh, you arrived to jump here, two right. So we could right. jump to any of those. Asarius two to, to the empire. Yes. Yeah, so those are the three that you know. The dynasty. Are, are, yeah, you have none. None for the empire. You I have just misspoke. Yeah, no worries. You have, have Nicodranas, Asarius, and Rosona. Those are the three that you so know. As long as I have them in here, I have them. Correct. You can write them down, and for the three nice. days sure. are up, you don't forget. But yeah. recommend that. Okay, it's, it's done. Okay. In the <laughs> seventy-two days of putting up Christmas lights, it's done. Okay. <laughs> can I drop my shit in my room? I get the just wooden like the shutters up. With the time that's left, can I kind of like check out our neighbors? Are there any like shops or like fortune tellers or anything strange in our? Immediate vicinity. What? No, it's good. It's good to know if you live in a walkable neighborhood. That's what I'm saying. It's important. <laughs> is there sushi on the corner or not? Or at local pizza? pizza? What do we have? <laughs> if you don't use them, that's how you lose them. Yeah. I like All right. shirts. Um, so looking around the area, there are no there are there are no like shopping districts in the firmaments. It tends to be mostly um, residential and uh, religious. There are structures for places of, of worship for the Luxon. You do see a few shrines that look kind of sitting out for other gods outside of, of uh, Luxon, but they look 
largely in disuse and just kind of there as part of the decor. Like this, it's it's the equivalent of of seeing a you know a giant crystal cathedral and then a couple of small little uh, installations at a nearby park. Um, there are the places you do come across. Uh, there is the fine clothing establishment, which is where you guys got your outfits uh, designed when you first made those custom orders. Um, and some of the places that did the repairs and changes to the house that you requested, such as your shutters. Um, but most of the most of the mainstream commerce, depending on what you're looking for, would be further in near the Galmafri or out to the Coronas. Coming in and out of the house, uh, <clears throat> just the front door, anybody watching us, following, uh, keeping an eye on the house? Make a reception check. Seven. Seven. Uh, best you can tell, I mean, people are definitely paying attention. You're the new neighbors. Uh, the glimpses they get are uh, of a non-drow, half-human uh, crew of people that just kind of wandered into one of the richer districts of the city without introduction and have grazed a 60-foot tree covered in Christmas lights. <laughs> so, so yeah, you. Uh, there's a lot of eyes on your house. People walk by constantly and kind of, when they don't think anyone's watching, kind of look through the windows, you know? Like, you, yeah, you, you, guys, you guys are definitely a curiosity in this neighborhood. Tune to 96.3 AM. <laughs> We're just going to get some new clothes and blend in. <laughs> yeah, not so much. Um, yeah, but you, you uh, the two neighboring buildings, there's uh, one very, very nice house, a similar design, if uh, a little bit larger than the one that you guys are in, to the right, that nobody's home. It looks like it's closed up and locked up. The, uh, the folks are not there, or at least no not there for now. <laughs> Uh, and definitely no tree. No tree. Uh, the house to the left, which is uh, equal in size, if not a little bit smaller, but very, very finely detailed. There, there is uh, like carved scrolling and lattice in all the corners of the building's construction. A lot of work and time has gone into the kind of uh, antique-like tiny details on the edges of every joined piece of wood for the structure. Um, and there is uh, a family there. There is a uh, a drow diplomat and a historian. Um, him and his family, known as the uh, the uh, Bailan family. Bailan. And uh, you you meet uh, Lord Bailan as he is um, well a little more prominent in the name in the uh, the overall dynamic of the city. He's interested to hear about you uh, and what all you're doing here. Um, upon first meeting, he kind of gives you a look over and goes, "So, if you could possibly tell me how, why you, why are you here?" We are uh, <laughs> honored guests of the Bright Queen. We uh, have traveled far to return an item of great importance, and it is important to her and the dynasty that we. Keep an eye on things. It's always good to have a third party and make sure that your interests are looked after. Very interesting, okay. Um, and you are? Uh, my name is Ford. I, I, I feel like I should ask, do you belong to a, a particular regarded uh, den? I do belong to one of the dens, yes. Oh, I didn't mean to uh, impose. I just figured that might be a good thing to know about our neighbors. Well, now you do. Yep. <clears throat> if you require anything as a friend of the Bright Queen, uh, ask and we'll see what we can do. I'd appreciate that. Uh, likewise, if we make too much ruckus or if you see shit growing out of the top of our house, you just come over and knock, okay? <laughs> yeah. That, mm. <laughs> yeah, I walked into that. Um, <laughs> anything else, you just let us know. Would it be like that all the time? I think that's how trees work. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, Ford. Yeah, it is nice to meet you too, Lord <laughs> Bye. The door's closed. Bye. My friend. Yeah, we've got diplomatic and immunity. <laughs> 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 
make, making a splash already. All right. <laughs> uh, Matthew, if we yes. have some time, yes, uh, I would probably borrow b bother Jester a few times to send you sending or send a of message. Course, of course. To Luke and yes. or Edith, who is watching Luke. What do you want me to say? How are you? Are you alive? How's they're in Allfield, right? They're in Allfield. Where you sent them? Yeah. How's Allfield? I do that. How are you? How are you? Are you alive? <laughs> are you in Allfield still? How is Allfield? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Luke. Your mm -hmm. dad and mom are together. Your dad and mom are together again. They love you so much. They're so happy. <laughs> uh, Luke responds to the message, and it's like, yeah, it's okay, it's been fine, so a little boring. Um, there's a lot of people coming in and out of town. Oh. Um, there's a lot of, a lot of co coast folk. Coast folk? Um, Edith responds to your... Um, 93 of the like coast. Yes, right. exactly. So, well, everything's been fine, we've been looking over your boy, and um, oh, this, this war business is just getting kind of, Folks are just tense. Folks are tense. Coast folk. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me, Matthew. Yes. Would I know what Matthew. the gold mercenary? Oh yeah. Make a history check. So what? Yeah, he mentioned this thing. You mentioned this last game, right? Mm -hmm. Oh come on! As, as, as a as the epitome of super indoor kid, <laughs> with that natural one. Unfortunately. <laughs> You do not have a lot of knowledge regarding some of the other smaller uh, factions that might be wandering the coast. I'm going to go ask Ford about it. Okay. Ford, hmm. do you know anything about the gold? Why do you paint Most... all of your form? <laughs> I'm a painter, Ford. This is what happens when you paint. Okay. Do you know anything about the gold mercenary cars? <laughs> Nope. Gold mercenary guys. What was it? Did you write it down? I did not. It was something like the gold shield or something. The gold chain mercenary. The there gold chain mercenaries. Do you not know anything about them? They're from the coast. My mom that? mentioned that a lot of them are coming into Nicotranas because of the war and stuff. Make a history check. Is that what they're called? Yeah, 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 that was it. Gold chain. Natural twin. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> what first was a okay? Yeah. Um, <laughs> you dated one in high school. Yeah. yeah. So, so what? What at first was a a group of disgruntled Zalezo that were hired by or, or worked under the Clovis Concord. Um, eventually managed to buy out their contracts and began to be a essentially a bodyguard service for more wealthy nobles and folks that needed to travel through uh, pirate-infested waters. Um, you've not had any personal encounters with them directly, but you've seen them. Uh, they usually have a, a signal, not just a single thick gold chain, whether it is actual gold or if it's just plated to look like it, you're not sure, but it usually involves a gold chain around the neck and a gold chain that dangles from the uh, the sword, from the, they wrap it around the the hilt that links to the pommel and kind of dangles, and that's kind of their, their calling sign uh, to be seen in, in public spaces. Usually when you see one, and if it's alone, they're for hire. If they're with somebody, stay the hell away. It's kind of the general sign for it because they're on they're on somebody's somebody's watch. Uh, there's not, at least last you heard, not not like an insane amount. Maybe a couple hundred across the entire coast, but that you know was years ago. And who knows in the in the ways of of war, um, there could be more that have joined their band. However, they they're expensive and they're ruthless and they. Um, that's why when you see them, you stay away. Those that can afford them usually have reasons for needing to, to pay for top-line mercenary work mm. to keep watch on them. Uh, and as, as the tales say, um, for every gold chain mercenary that's, that's felled in combat or by an assassin, there's a hundred that he left in his wake before he's Days came to an end. Yeah, um, they're pretty. They're pretty intense. Is it like a guild, or is there a top gold chain, like an elder 
chain. Well, Mr. Natural 20. Uh, which means two total of what? With your history? With history, it is a 22. 22, okay. Uh, you're not sure who's in charge of it currently. Um, there was somebody in charge, but they were, they disappeared into Darktoe about 10 years before. Um, and since then, they haven't uh, they haven't formally announced a particular organizer, whether that be because they don't have one or because it's too much of a target on one person's head based on what may have happened to their previous leader. Um, but they seem to activate as kind of an autonomous group, and no one really knows how they communicate. They tend to be pretty secretive about their internal business, and those that are sworn to become to join the team. Um, are very much under a kind of secrecy of business type ordeal. Jester, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Blah! And I'll give her all that. All right, there you go. Oh, okay. Yeah, so secretive, deadly, expensive. Wow, a lot yeah. of them are around my mama right now. Well, that's good. That means she'll be safe, right? She ever well, hired I don't, one? No, she's, she's never hired one or anything. I'm wonder, sure she's like performed uh, for them, though, right? I mean, she's got to be beloved. Well, I I don't know. I mean, I think I remember seeing gold chains and stuff when I was growing up, but I don't know for sure. Anyway, <laughs> how are you doing here, Ford? Yeah, no, I'm I'm great. I, would you do me a favor? I do not require any color in this room. Just labor be. I figured. I thought about making, you know, like an ocean mural in here for you, but. No, it's all right. Uh, you seem to be a little um, uncomfortable with the water right now. Uncomfortable with the water? I haven't really I been know. around much water. Yeah, that's what they mean. We ran away from it. Who ran away? We ran away <laughs> from it. That's I, what I said. We ran away oh, from it. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm fine. I've never been this far away from our neck of the woods. Yeah? Yeah. This is, you know, I mean, I'm just guessing here, but have you ever had a house before? Nope. How do you feel in the house? Well, uh, my own room's pretty strange. Yeah. Yep. Take it a little bit at a time. I moved in like toot sweet. <laughs> um, yeah, it's cool, I guess. You're right next door, so if you're lonely or anything, you know, you can just knock. Or I can draw a little hole in the wall. Jester, there doesn't need to be any damn hole in the wall, all right? <laughs> I don't know if you've heard, but Bo, Bo snores like a son of a bitch. I know. It's canon. <laughs> <laughs> I'll allow it's, it. It sounds, sounds like a what? Sounds like a cat. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like the jaw is open and to the right. It's I know, like I move with her like all the, the time. Yeah. I don't mind. Yeah, I, I can't stand it. <clears throat> Glad I'm not rooming with you then. <laughs> You're missing out on my sick right. fucking abs. I just want to make sure and stuff. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Okay. Well done. <laughs> I have a few people I need to corner. All right. Specifically. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The first one is this one. Okay. All right. So, on one of our free days here, while they're still hanging uh, Joha's lights, mm -hmm. uh, catch you, bring you into the laboratory. Yes. Okay. This is for you. I got this for you. Amazing. So, they're at your disposal. I'm going to use it right now. What are you going to make? I've got a bona fide chemist with me right now. <laughs> He's over in the corner, like I don't know if you noticed, but I've been here the whole time. That's fine. You, you, uh, I don't. It's a nice mind. setup. I, yeah. I get it. All, I get it a lot. It's fine. fine. Make, we're mind. gonna make a bunch of shit. What's first? Uh, what? Uh, what do you want? Uh, I've got. Uh, well, well, we might have to get some more supplies, but I need, uh, if you could, somehow make uh, these crossbow bolts uh, like a flare. 
Interesting. Okay. Like some sort of substance that would burn burn up uh, slowly and make a bright light as I fired it into the air. That, yeah, we could totally do that. Mm-hmm. We, should, we need some, mm-hmm. some sulfur, probably some uh, mm-hmm. some back guano. That's very good. Uh, some fashion like a saltpeter type substance. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, wouldn't mind. Um, wouldn't mind making. Uh, I've I heard about these these like little bags of things you throw down. It makes the ground all icky and sticky. Slows people down. We could try and work something like that out, maybe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. You two are dangerous together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And anything you want to, Caleb. Uh, I will get back to you on that, mm-hmm. if that's all right. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. Maybe even a smoke bomb or two. I, I don't know what uh, we have time for. Let's give it a shot. Yeah. What would Batman do? Hmm. <laughs> I, I did have a specific question for you. Um, something that I've been putting off uh, for a while because we had bigger things on our plate. Uh, but uh, a while back, you mentioned a, a specific letter. Oh. That mm. you wrote on oh, yeah. my behalf, or tell me again because I remember what you said, but felt, I'm not sure I understand what I you said. I felt extremely guilty at that. At the time, I thought that I was being helpful, trying to get you some sort of connection with your past, but I didn't know that your past was... Did you get the sense from my story that I had fond connections of that past? Of her, yes. Uh, but what did you say? I didn't, I I wrote a letter, not even to the girl, Astrid, but I think it was to her school, if I remember correctly. From whom? From an interested party that was unnamed. Did you, did, did you name anything, list anything that we have any connection to? I think I said something, and I could be wrong about this. If only I had your keen memory. <laughs> um, Jester, get in here! <laughs> oh, oi, oi, oi Jester! It? We're working on Why something. Why is there paint all over you? More I'm than making usual. some modifications. What is it? We're working on we, this. You helped We're me with this. You helped me write this letter to, what are you talking to about? Astrid. What letter? There was an Astrid. We wrote a letter to Astrid. What I feel like about? you were, remember this was a while back, we were in the dash, I want to say. One moment. Hmm. You, you have explained a- a- Astrid to Chester. You talked to me about Astrid. Some. Yeah. I just. You didn't. She was didn't it a say secret? who Astrid was. She just said Astrid, and I just wrote it. If you, if there was something I'm not supposed to know or something. I didn't something. know it was such a secret. You but just you told said me her that name. She was an old friend of yours from when you were a student. Yeah. 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 You seemed like you liked her a lot, Caleb. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Okay. I just inquired about her whereabouts as an interested party. I think we said something about being relatives needing to contact her for some sort of... Yes, yes, we said we were going to offer her a lot of money or something, right? I think it was like an inheritance that we had to find That's right. for her. What so did, we didn't say anything about... about a return address or... or yes, maybe this was that at the, at the pillow l- trove? Yes, it was at the pillow. We, you know, we should really go back to that. I think we said if you have any information, <laughs> send it to the pillow trove. Oh my gosh, you know what I'm going to do? What? <laughs> I'm going to send a message to the owner of the pillow trove. Okay. Hi, it's me, Jester Lavore. I used to stay there. Have there any been any letters or packages for me? I was blue. I was blue. <laughs> is it? Is a mild pause. <laughs> uh, I, yes, I, I recall. Um, there, there is a package here. Oh. Yes. I guess it again. <laughs> Who's the fucking package from? I know, open it up. Oh, what's in it? Open it up. What is in it? Tell me about it. Uh, te- we are not allowed to open uh, packages, uh, <laughs> just to deliver them as is required by senders. From a Kaliana. <gasps> Oh, it's our, oh, it's my pen pal, our pen pal. Oh, that's right. Can we understand there's a package? Oh, we have to go back to Zadash. 
What if it was like baked goods or something? I bet they're really gross now. <laughs> there is also a letter, it seems. There's a letter. Yeah, send, There's a letter. We can ask is, again. Is it Use your fucking spell again. <laughs> okay, I send no, another. No, you need that stone. Never mind. I send another message. <laughs> Who's the letter from? Is it for. Is. Um, Open it! Open it up! You have my permission! You have my permission! <laughs> I would require the permission in person to open the letter. Uh, it, is, it is from the Soltris Academy. It seems official. It's from the Soltris Academy. It seems official. We'll never go back to Zadash. You've seen this wizard. Yeah. We'll never go yeah. back to Zadash. Yeah. And if we do. No, we have to go back to Zadash where we'll, my dad we'll, is. We'll kill the owner, burn down her establishment, <laughs> and no one will ever know that we were ever there or that it exists. They're all ready. Oh, God. <laughs> Did you make any, any, any mention of any of us, of. Of we anyone you know. I think we said our name was like okay. not. We said our <coughs> that like not in the war, lawyer. Oh, we did. We put oh our name on it. Oh my God! Used used the name of all. Maybe not. Maybe I didn't. Maybe no, it was just you, the not. Did you maybe? I think maybe we did. I think maybe we did. Um, it might have been. Not the brave or something? No, that's probably not what it we said. It was like Lavor and company, attorneys at law. Let or something. me elaborate a little bit, Jester. Not, not know some, some of this, but Astrid and 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 other people that I used to know um, wouldn't wouldn't would uh, not take kindly to finding me. And I worry about any uh, openings that we have made for them now. That is mitigated somewhat by the, the, the concept that we have revealed ourselves to hidden eyes in front of the Empress. But I, I worry slightly about your mother. Maybe. I, if you use that name, maybe. Miss Lavore of Not and Brave. Um. Oh no. Your mother is, is fam that what was? famous. No. She is? Yeah. I'm, I don't know. Do you think they're going to hurt her? Have you spoken to her recently? Yeah, yeah, I speak to her almost every, every night. Every other night. So I go a little long sometimes, and I should call my mom more, honestly. <laughs> But I did talk to her very recently. I want to help you see her, but we should be very care careful. Okay, but you can you can take us to Nicodranas whenever we need to go. Now, yes. But it's just one uh, layer of complication. Maybe. Okay. I'm sorry. I just wanted you to have a friend. I have friends. Well, you didn't then. Yeah, at the time, it was really touch and go, really you know? Really standoffish. <laughs> <laughs> this was a while back. I think this was right after you did the mud on your face thing, and it was, I felt really guilty. Yeah, it's as much, it's as much my fault as anyone. No, 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 don't no, blame no, yourself. No, 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 it's, 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 it's definitely not fault. <laughs> Well, I mean, you because, were there too. But because you, you told me, me to you could have stopped me at any I moment. I didn't know what I was doing, so well, obviously I'm very, I know what I'm doing. I'm super. It's it's really all right. <laughs> I think the time when someone comes to find me is inevitable at this point. But that is possibly one point of entry. So. So, but do you like Astrid? <laughs> I, I did, yeah. Yeah. Maybe she'll just want to hang out and be friends again. Yeah. I don't know. For a while she was the one, but that was a long time ago. Okay. Stumbling away from that one. <laughs> That's the only corner you had to. No corner. way. So oh, much no. as I've been waiting on. Boop, 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 boop. Oh. Ah. 
Hang on. Stop snoring and open the door. Yeah! <laughs> I was napping, bitch. Yeah. Um, when are you intending to uh, get in touch with Dairon? Oh, yeah. Because I don't think we should free ball this any longer. I think we need to bring her in. And I was. I just slowly closed the door. I'm going Caleb. to talk to you through the door and everyone will hear me, or you can let me in because can this I is open important the fucking warrior. door. May I come in? <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, we need to have some sort of plan, Boregard. Why? What, with her? Why? With her who? Tyron. Yeah. Why? Because we have just made an allegiance with the leaders of a foreign power. Yeah. She does not want you cavorting with them, but we are for a purpose. I want the Cerberus assembly to burn, but the dynasty is not going to stop if they do, and we need something to fill that vacuum if we have even a chance of doing that. Are Dairon and your Cobalt soul willing to fill that vacuum? To keep the Empire going if we rip the cancer out as we have spoken of? What, what, what are we doing? I mean, I have ideas, but. I have been going to sleep every night trying to figure that out. I don't know what we're doing. I, I, I'm an initiate. I'm more or less in training to be an expositor. I, I I think you may have graduated ahead of time, Baragad. Yeah, I think so too. I I don't know if Dairon would hug me or kill me if she knew what was happening. You. And I can continue to spin it. I can do that. I can continue to spin it. And let her think that we're continuing to walk the line here and continue to report. But everything that I report is gonna to have to be cherry-picked and strategic, and the more information I give up, the more I can jeopardize everything we're doing. But neither of us are traitors to the Empire. Not yet. You and I know what we are doing. And Dairon can give us legitimacy. We just, um, we did hand over like their super awesome relic that can change time or make babies or whatever that the Empire definitely stole, and now we have a house that was just kind of gifted to us in the capital enemy city. But, but we you're right, also, we're not traitors We have yet. also moved one <laughs> inch closer to healing a wound, and there are many, many, many steps left. You're here to root out corruption. In our home, you want to root out corruption. Dairon wants to root out corruption. My whole childhood is mired in it. And then maybe we work one side and get what we want on the other. But I don't think we can just run roughshod over the Empire and do whatever we want. We're going to get killed. We also might get killed here. We are humans in a very unwanted territory. We are gambling, to be sure. I think every day is going to be a gamble. Well, so what do you want to do? You do want to keep Dairon on the outside of this, or bring her in? <sighs> think about it. You don't have to answer me now, but think about it. I would like to talk to her before we run into each other. Because you know how awkward that is when, like, you know, you left it, where things kind of hang in, and then you run into each other, and you're like, oh, I meant to call, I swear. Sorry, I haven't, you know, messaged you back. So I don't want that to happen. Hmm. That's all in my conversations. <sighs> hey. Think about it, think about it. I have a question. It's totally unrelated, I just want to know. Are you in love with a knot? No. You sure? Very sure. All right. Because, man, that tension. 
Oh, that's our truck. Hmm. That's our truck. Oh, sorry. I don't need an inside check, I know. <laughs> okay, well. I'm just saying, I got. There was some vibes kicking. Or some pheromones going on when we were on that uh, Moorbounder. You are tuned into a specific re- frequency that is not my frequency. So, this is not a good conversation. Thank you. Think about that, please. As I close the door, I just whisper to myself, I knew that wouldn't get him out of my fucking room. (laughs) Last thing. It's okay. Last thing. And then I'll just shut up for an hour. Uh, When this guy is out to uh, shop or look around, I'm going to go sit and wait in his room and wait up for him to come back. Oh, motherfucker. Okay. When he's doing that, me and Caduceus. Mm hmm. Are turning this area? No, no, <laughs> no. Into a spa. Into a hot tub. We figured out how to we set it up. We're gonna do it. We're oh, gonna yes. do it. Did you say spa oh, yes. pub? We're, getting, we're making a hot tub. Oh. We're making a hot tub with, with stone shape. Oh yeah. With stone shape and create water. <laughs> very and very easy to just just make a little heater. It's very easy thing. to do yes. actually. Yeah. Uh, well, heater. How do you? How we're do you, underneath it. We're going to make like a pizza a oven, sort there. of. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You just have a thing so that the water. Just have a thing so that I can throw a fire bolt in the bottom. That too. Also, yeah, I will say, I will say the, the okay, Jesus. all right, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Create spray water would be very helpful here. Yeah. No, it will be. Um, okay, I, I, one thing to note too: the 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 central portion of that tower, the roots are growing through the stone. Ooh, even oh, yeah. there's okay. gorgeous. Uh, the spot's on the bottom floor. But I'm just thinking, yeah. you know, on, on the halfway up, the actual roof above uh, where the tree kind of connects with them underneath, mm-hmm. there's about a foot and a half of just dozens and dozens of thick roots that are all kind of dangling through gorgeous. that I pushed through the stone. Better. Perfect. Um, gorgeous. And you build the spa. You have, yeah! You have a spa. Yay, fifth level spells. <laughs> <laughs> First level spells. Uh, proper use of magic. This is what right. I. This is this is how I'm getting rid of my frustration that I can't easily figure out what the hell that sword is. So <laughs> I need a soak. Just need a soak to relieve I the tension. Just, there you go. Have you just tried putting the pieces back together? Not yet. No. no. Just like that would do it. Maybe magic. No. No one needs to go north to the elves. Elves have the doors. Okay. So you guys uh, take the. It takes most of the time waiting for you to. to even uh, to create the lights. Doesn't take you too long to make the, uh, the spa. Yeah. Between that and the painting, you guys are done with oh, events yeah, we're, we're, until we're, it comes to the, uh, the we're, time we're that you're expecting. All right, you said something not? Worth it. <laughs> no, I'm just going to chem- chemistry that stuff. OK. Uh, because you have uh, Yessie helping you, I will say it is intelligence-based, is so an intelligence modifier with your proficiency modifier with advantage. Um, an additional, I'll say plus two on top of that, just for having Yaz's help. Uh, okay. So your proficiency modifier is plus four. Four. Intelligence three. So it's seven plus two. It's plus nine to these rolls with advantage. So what do you want to create? Uh, f- some sort of flare or tracer bolt. How many do you want to make? Three. Three. I would say uh, it would be. 10 gold worth of materials per bolt, so Great. 30 gold to create the three. Great. Let's go ahead and make some rolls for me. First one, with advantage. That's cut. Uh, 15 plus all those numbers. 24, okay. just with advantage. Yep. Yep, so not a problem creating that. 13 plus all those numbers. All right, and last one. 10 plus all those numbers. 19. Okay, yeah, so you, you make three flare bolts. Oh, cool. cool. Um, yeah. Essentially, what you do is is uh, they have a fuse to the back of it. You ignite the fuse and then fire it upward, and it burns it off as it arcs upward. Awesome. Um, and it burns off by the time it hits the the end of your range in the bolt. Okay. So the long range. Like one twenty. Yes. Cool. But it burns along the path. Uh, one tangle foot bag and one smoke bomb of some okay. sort. Okay. Uh, tangle foot bag. The the materials there. The, technically, they don't have the the them in here, so we'll be kind of mixing it up as we sure. go. Um, that will act as loosely an entangle spell. Okay. Uh, with a smaller ten foot radius as opposed to a. Okay. Or I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll say ten foot radius. Why not? Sure. Um, 
with a DC of 12. So write that down, DC of 12, mm -hmm. 10 foot radius. Great. Um, so to create one of those, I'll say 50 gold worth of materials. Oof, woof, okay. Welcome to my world. <laughs> with advantage still? Yep. 14 plus a bunch? Plus nine, okay, yeah, DC was 20 on that, so yeah. you have one of those. Okay, great. And uh, smoke bomb? Uh, I'll say five golden materials is not too much. Okay. Yeah. Let's go ahead and try. 16. 16 plus, plus nine. Things. Yeah, totally. That's Great. Five. All right. Uh, so the smoke bomb is an action to use. And until the end of your next round, uh, in a five foot radius around you, you have, it is heavily obscured. Okay. Just five foot radius. Okay, like five foot on each on both sides. On each side, yeah. Okay. So as you throw it down, and then that area right there becomes heavily obscured. <clears throat> Where did Batman go? <laughs> yeah, essentially. I'm just gonna enjoy making all of these things over the hours with Yeza, helping him, watching his deft, nimble hands dance <laughs> across the chemicals. Uh, <laughs> though you have a few things as well to surprise him with, and the two of you together, it's less, you, you noticed in the time that you've spent working on your own chemicals and your adventuring, um, the dynamic becomes less of chemist and assistant and more partners. Um, oh. And can I try one more thing? Sure. Like a more controlled, contained fluffer nutter? <laughs> Still, with not, no fuse or anything, just something I can throw and someone else will blow it up, maybe. Or I can throw okay. it up. Or grenade. you can throw it and I can blow it up. Okay, uh, I, will, I will consider it the same as like blasting powder or a stick of dynamite. Mm -hmm. um, I'll say that'll be 50 gold to try and create. Oh, ah, that's so much! Jeez Louise. It's worth it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, no, it's fine. I'll take it. Hold on. I'll take it. I'm going to go ahead I and just, check one thing. I don't need this gold to, you know, that, save my no, child that, or anything. That, that might actually. She's probably way into college. Oh! Oh! Hey, I was a superstar on the lacrosse team, according to my pictures and, <laughs> and, and resume. That's believable. <laughs> We go to. Uh, like soccer. Yeah, I was really good. So yoked. <laughs> what position did you play? Um, put guy. Uh, or the kicker, the kicker. The catcher. The catcher. The catcher. The kicker? <laughs> Kick off return. <laughs> Does anyone else need any chemistry shit? Just a little help setting up the, the, the spa. Oh, I need you to look at my uh, my hair oil. Hair oil? Oh, oil? Oh, oil? oil? Oh, that! Do you have a goiter? She bought some oil. Yeah. She bought some stuff. Okay. We can look at the hair oil. Oh, yeah. hair Let oil. me know and make sure it's not gross or something. Careful. Um, help make sure the garden's all right. Uh, yeah, I'll very say. serious. No, no. Uh, I'll, I'll say sorry. It's, it's it'd be, it would be fifty gold to yeah, purchase. Sure. I'm gonna save her materials though because you're making it twenty five. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Just She's save some money. Top of my head there. Discount. Yeah, Where's the 13 plus 9. Yeah, I think, okay. I mean, like, so you also have looking for water. Yeah, yeah, a, a, a fluff or nutter pouch. It's just going to make its way there um, like plumbing. Which acts, acts as um, the same as dynamite or blasting. Powder. I am so happy. Okay. That's it. All right, so you finish the construction there. Anybody else have anything else they want to accomplish? Yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, I would love to pick up my oh, bracers so and. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. forged, um, comfortable. They they they're, they're made in specifications and the shapes that uh, uh, were someone had in a were sh Stuff. crafted for you. Yes. Is there uh, an enchanter in town or anything like that? I didn't Make an investigation check. Okay. Yo, girl, pick up my clothes. Oh, that's right. We, we, we all got to pick up our clothes. Yeah. Yeah. You did, but mine's yeah, it's cooked. Uh, where is my investigation? Mm -hmm. Ten? Okay. <laughs> okay. Magical <laughs> enchanting is not a common thing uh, to be found in most areas of the city. Um, I mean, even just the encounter you had with the Invulnerable Fragrance and Dash was one of the few in the Empire, and only because Zadash is one of the larger cities of the establishment. Um, asking around, the best information you get is that you probably have to commission somebody at the Marble Tomes Conservatory. Okay. 
All right. Which you um, could do. Yeah, which I could. Um, just head on over. Yeah. Head on over to the Marble Tome. Would anyone like to go to the Marble Tomes? I'm going to head over there for, uh, I just have to go ask some things. Yes, I want to so bad we're just making this spa. This spa is really taking up everything right now. I'll go with you. Yeah? yeah. Gonna pay money okay. Of okay. course. So Bo and Yasha are going? Wait, what are the, to- is like a library? That's yeah. where Waco is. I, yeah, I yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. I, I would go. I'll go too, because I'm, I'm bored. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. It's like a reverse softer shopping episode for you. <laughs> I just wanted to show me. Still kind of wondering yeah. about that, to be honest. <laughs> Expecting an explanation. Enchanted shutters. Oh, yeah, we'll get to that in just a second. Yeah, yeah, I'm hiding in his room. Yep. Later. Um, they belittle you every time. You guys arrive. You recognize from the time that you've been here with Caleb to eventually talk your way through and find at least one of the guards who was here previously when you had met yes, with Waco. Those the same humans. Yes, those humans. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Um, <laughs> Charmed your way in again. Did. Is that how you talk to them Maya, every time? I'm trying. Okay. We haven't had a manners lesson in a while. Getting rusty. Well. They're All right. fully dressed. Yeah. Uh, so the three of you step into the Marble Tomes Conservatory. You ask for enchanting <laughs> services. Um, normally they are relegated specifically with these times as part of the war effort. They have their approvals you have to go through, because most of the enchanters are currently in the process of developing things uh, for use on the front lines or any of their various scouting missions or uh, you know, independent strike crews. Uh, however, because you do have the Beacon of the Bright Queen, and depending on the time commitment involved, they'll say, well, uh, at least have a conversation with one of the enchanters, and they they call out for somebody who arrives. You see a uh, um, very young, kind of fresh-faced, uh, dark elf woman, uh, the equivalent of what you would expect a, a late teens human, uh, as far as like just kind of bright-eyed and and excited, smooth, you know, young skin. Um, maybe you don't know. Uh, you're not even there. <laughs> yes, I am. I thought I went with them. Ninety-six. Or did they like leave Ford and Caleb behind? <clears throat> the, uh, four the four of us went walking went. together. Oh, you're going. Okay, I thought you said you were still waiting for him. Uh, I, that happens at some point in this week. It can okay, got gotcha. you. All right, so you are joining him. All right, uh, but they they step out and hello. I am Enchanter Yun. I've been. This is a curious group. Uh, hello. They're yeah. the most curious, yes, but yes. blessed by right. she herself. I've heard rumors, people have been talking of the visitors, yes? Are you them? Mm-hmm. Some of yeah. them, yeah. Yeah, just a, a, a wow. handful. I don't think I would actually get a chance to see you. That is, oh, you've become quite a, um, quite a conversation piece in the conservatory. Only good things, I hope. Uh, Primarily. Has Waco spoken well of us? Well, nobody really speaks to Waco, but no. uh, there has been you know, rumors spreading of, you know, the, uh, the the human folk, the expats helping the queen. Ouch. Um, cool. We come with a bit of business, though. Yes. Our friend here is. Right. Uh, I have uh, these bracers, and I wanted to see if you could, uh, by chance. Enchant them. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Oh, these are finally made. They are definitely ready for an enchantment. What sort of enchantment are you looking for on my desk? Looking for something that would, you know, give me a little bit more protection. Protective magic, right? More of an abjuration yeah. based. Um, that could be done, yes. Um, Something similar to what she is holding right there, maybe? Yes, that was the inspiration, so. Okay, yes. Could you do um, the same with this precious gold ring? Uh, maybe, let me see. Yes, something like that could also be done. Uh, they, uh, I will say it is an expensive and timely process, uh, time-consuming process, depending on how much you want to pay. Time can be quicker, because we get more enchanters to help out, to cut the time in half. Um, for uh, one such an enchantment here, uh, it would run about uh, uh, yeah, three thousand gold pieces. What? If and would take roughly, um, I would say, about ten weeks. Ten weeks. 
Yeah. But, but if 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 you were to pay an additional, uh, say, sixty percent onto that price, we can have a second enchanter and have it done in five weeks. Uh, that is a little uh, rich for my blood. Oh, I will yeah. take the ring. Thank you for the information, though. No problem. Uh, well, our services. They are available, um, uh, at least as long as you carry those uh, emblems, but... Um, what if we did, like, a, a payment plan situation? <laughs> layaway. Uh, a layaway. Meaning? Uh, not to brag, but right now I could offer you 455 gold pieces. Um, that's all I have, so. Um, it could be to start, and then whenever they're ready, I can I can come back and, and give you more money every time Here. I get some. I will tell you this. Um, if you could provide at least a thousand gold, we could begin and expect the remainder of payment upon completion. Should you, uh, if you want it quicker still, for the half time period, 1,500 gold in a five week creation process. Um, this is under the uh, expectation that should you not turn up for the remainder amount, uh, the project is forfeited to the dynasty and it is to be outfitted to one of our elite soldiers. What would you say if we were to offer our services for a slight discount on that item? Surely there's some dirty work you need done. Me? No, not me. I, I, I spend most of my time, and well, to be honest, most of my life within these halls uh, since coming of age, but uh, I mean, I'm sure there are means of making coin throughout these times. Oh, there's. No uh, shortage of that. Just curious if you needed any particular itches scratched. <laughs> Me? No, I, I'm just, uh, and you see your eyes get a little, a little embarrassed. I'm, I'm, I'm more of a, a, a researcher. Fair enough. Yasha, I have the other half of that thousand if you want. That's a lot of money, Ford. Yeah, but you got to get some fucking protection. You get hit all the time. Yeah, I do. Yep. Um, it's almost like I've seen it myself. I'll pay you back. Hand. How about that? Deal. Okay. All right, if we leave you a thousand, I'll leave these, and we'll come back for, uh, I'll, I'll bring the rest. All right, 10 weeks? 10 weeks. Maybe we can speed the process along. Maybe we can speed the process up. Here, Throw in a, a little weeks. more later. Yeah. Catch it up. Yeah. Great. Yes. You come back. If you, there is more money to be put down, we can definitely hire then an additional enchanter with the rest of the amount to be uh, given upon receipt. Jeez. But like I said, we have to agree that this payment is forfeit if you do not return to pick up the item. Within okay. the 10 weeks. Within the 10 weeks. Right, for the full payment, yes. Yeah, for the full payment of 10 okay. weeks. Okay, good to know. Yeah, that we'll, is easy oh, for oh, us. That's yeah. fine. We'll, 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 we'll make that. Very well. All right, okay. so you guys paid 1,000 gold? Yeah. D distributed however you want. 1,000 gold? I got it. How much is Yasha total? really that important? 3K total. Oof. Is there like a Third public uh -huh. book area? Because I know there's a special book area. Is there a public book area where we can get to in this place or no? No Libre? Uh, no. There, no. This is okay. uh, asking around. You get the sense that this <coughs> library contains a lot of very sensitive, arcane information that is considered both um, important, historically powerful, as a lot of arcane uh, you know, depositories are, um, but also not suppository. That's a arcane suppository is another whole different thing. <laughs> I can see forever. <laughs> um, uh, but also, if they have any dunamantic elements, there those are probably very much considered of interest to anyone directly within the state or of approved interest. Uh, 
Fortnite to create a distraction? No. Okay. No, we are going to earn this the proper way. I, uh, before we leave, I'll uh, write out a handwritten invitation to Professor Waco to visit the first Kryn treehouse here in Losana. <laughs> Alrighty. And leave it with, with this woman. All right. Okay. Um, as you guys are returning, uh, as you approach the exterior of the house, you see a familiar mantled figure, kind of uh, arms emerging the front of the cloak. The mantle is, is is looking up at the tree and the lights that are currently being strung across the canopy by both Caduceus and uh, Jester in a very precarious and dangerous way, as it is a very tall tree. <laughs> you don't really have a light. This is... Uh, You've certainly made it comfortable quickly. Yeah. We are making ourselves at home. I can see that. <laughs> I made a uh, made a splash. Do you want to stay for dinner? <laughs> Caduceus is probably whipping up something delicious and vegan. No, I'm quite all right. I have some research to do, but I appreciate the offer. You want a rain check? Boy, your face just does not look as inviting as you think it does. <laughs> oh, sorry. See, yeah. I haven't. Yeah, sorry. Just get a little pinch on the inside. What is the nature of your uh, research? <laughs> Make a persuasion show. <laughs> Do you want to come in for dinner? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's um, my specialities. Well, would you like to? <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> Would you like to take a break from your research and maybe just get a drink? So scary. Ooh. Start taking notes. It's like a Batman villain. <laughs> I'm all right, but take. <laughs> all right. <laughs> but interesting. Definitely the first. Do you know anything about our uh, neighbors to the left, the the family of Lord Bylan? Ah, oh, stuffy sort. Yeah, not very talkative or mm. friendly. Well, let's be real, you. Yeah, the, the tree. Um, by the way, I, I tried to ask, just in case he was also a member of uh, Den Thalen, Thalus. He didn't uh, volunteer what den he was a part of. Is that a faux pas? Touchy subject. Not particularly, no. But he is for Den Bylan. Den Bylan. Oh, oh, well. The surnames oh, are adopted shit. from the dens. But there's yeah. four dens, right? There's only four dens. Got his own cell cell service. There's, okay. There's three there's primary. Three dens. primary dens, and, and then there there's are many others. There's many dens. Uh, a dozen dens. Dozens of dens. Yeah, Bylan's not so one of the dens. main three, though. <laughs> den dens, no. man. Den dens. Do you know who lives? Thales is one. Well. Do you know who lives? Uh, who our other neighbors are, or? Um, Seems empty to us, but perhaps you're not. I'm not too familiar with this neighborhood. <laughs> Do I believe him? Make an insight check. <laughs> <laughs> he knows that there's a team of mercenaries in there! Eleven. Eleven. He seems like he's looking around, not too familiar. Just because I. I don't know. I don't live in this area, so. Where do you live? Why do you have? I was just, I want to know uh, more about you. And get to know the, the, the place that we are living in at the moment. What neighborhood? Uh, I'm being very forward, I'm sorry. You don't have to tell me, never mind. What's your home address? Oh, gee. Tell me your address and phone number. If you don't mind, just throw out there. You don't have to, but if you want to write it down. Most of my den live within the Lucid Bastion, but I spend a lot of my time either researching dynamatic pursuits within the Bastion or within the Conservatory. Are those the main avenues for learning such? They are the only avenues. Why do you ask? Well, I am a big learner. I'm curious. Um, I know that we are new here, but I am very interested in tutelage in this field, and you have been privy to uh, our conversations with your queen, and... Show me. Huh? 
Show me something impressive. Show me something at the height of your power. Do you? You are do an you, arcanist, yes. Do you want to? Yeah. Do you want to go inside for this, like, or at least in the threshold of the I walls think and not be are, in the street? If you are trained enough to be pursuing such things, that you would know the limits and the safety of your capabilities. So, um, <laughs> show me. A uh, translucent cat floats just in front of Essex's face, and <laughs> a gigantic claw flexes in front of Essex between I me and him, and is interposing between me and him. <laughs> I immediately look around to see if anyone's watching. A lot of people are watching. Yeah. A bunch. I mean, this is the third weirdest thing that's happened. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> you, you guys have become the weird neighbors <laughs> real fast. Real the cat, signs the cat claw does one of these. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. And if I might ask, um, what is it that you're seeking? What is your ultimate goal? Anyone who pursues such magics to an extent has something that they wish to do. I am of a middling experience in the traditional sense. Uh, what I'm very curious about is uh, the arcane here in your country. Yes, you and many. Many, many. Yes, but as you people. know, my people are perverting your magic. And we wish to work with you to prevent that, as we have exhibited. And I wish to understand better so that I can better help. Make one more persuasion check. Ooh, come, come on, on Kay. Good. Come on, KK. Just the 12. Oh. Just the 12? No, yeah. I'll inspire you. Okay, he looks over and goes. Hmm. Are you busy right now? <gasps> May I enter? I invited you twice, but yeah, yeah, go ahead, enter. Yeah. Yes, it would be lovely would to be have you inside I our will, home. I mean, I yes. I wasn't asking you. The cat's the claw turns sideways, and just one claw hooks into the door and pulls it open. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, everyone! We wake up from the tree. I'm getting out of the hot tub with the SF. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're real company! Put him away. Oh. Put him away. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, it's, it's like bow. Bit of comment. Yeah. <laughs> he just kind of glides over and looks towards the, the closest thing there is to the study that you guys had set up at this time. Mm -hmm. Bit empty, but it could work. Do you want that cocktail? Caduceus has been making something with turmeric. It's really Face. weird. It's a very refreshing cocktail. <laughs> Perfect for this nice fall breeze. Sure. Jesus Christ, look at that. See what fucking, yeah, that's fucking host of a fucking host! <laughs> yeah! Hosting! Hosting! So, uh. Take that hospitality! Essek traces something in the air with his finger, and you, the slight glow emerges, and you watch from the glow as it pulls out and widens. A tome just apparates into his hand. His other hand comes out from under the cloak and flicks through. Do you have means of copying? <laughs> Let me teach you a few things. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, boy. oh so damn. He, uh, he will teach you up to three spell levels of Dunamantic magic. <gasps> oh, oh, shit. Oh, it's my motherfucker. Don't get excited. Well, stop flipping out of <laughs> So this could be three. Utility meager spells of the You have a few things at your disposal. There is also uh, a few with a slight more uh, kick. And, uh, or one that is a little more of a influence, if you will. What is your interest? No. Are you interested in things such as uh, density, gravity, things that manipulate the relationship between objects? Are you more interested in the bending of fate, destiny? Mm -hmm. uh, or, <laughs> or 
or do you wish to uh, find ways to sap and scatter the potentiality of your enemy? Let's go back one. All right. We have. Offers you these two. Oh, oh shit crackers! What is it? We did it! Don't worry, I'll, oh, I'll never, never tell, tell us. us. <laughs> I'll never tell. I'll never tell. And so, take the necessary time and the necessary cost of paper and ink to copy those spells into your spell book. Okay. And when you complete, you can see there's plenty of other spells in the book, but he watches you like a hawk, and every time you get interested to peek, you can sense his presence looming. And it's, you gather you would not want to challenge that trust. Mm -hmm. Upon the completion of the secondary spell. I can barely <laughs> afford to do these two, so. The tome closes, and you watch as it kind of almost seems to spark and scatter away into nothing. Wow. Ting, ting, ting. Thank you. <laughs> Moscow Mule. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested to see what you do with these. I need a little bit of time. Hmm. Rudimentary, but they are the beginning building blocks. This is a great gift. Remember it. Maybe a time when I need to call the favor back in. Done. Very well. What do you think? Would you like a closer look at the tree? I'm fine. <laughs> and it's not bad. Unique, is that uh, turmeric? Mm -hmm. Caduceus calls it a white Shorhasian. <laughs> Mildly racist, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, shit! Holy <laughs> shit! The room gets real, like, just quiet and awkward for a moment. He goes, choice. Wow. Pure intentions. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your evening. And he, he leaves on that note. I really would have leaned with a turmeric or not to turmeric. Uh, not sure. Probably sure. a better choice. Rick. Going for the Lebowski pull. Yeah. I felt, yeah. no, I, I'm, I'm aware. Yeah. yeah. My, college, my college years, thank you. I did a thing today, I know. <laughs> I did a thing today. Yeah. I'm excited about this shirt. Hot. So, get that even so. Um, and uh, we'll say, after the shopping is complete and Ford, you've completed a run of some of your work out the city, you return, open the door to your chambers, and Caleb is there, patiently waiting. God! Damn it, Sorry. I meant to put locks on this shit. Sorry, I can help you out with that if you wish. <clears throat> what can I uh, what can I do for you? Why have you been talking to us with a fake accent for months? I'm sorry. I've heard you do it a few times. I've heard a different voice come out of you. A different voice. Yeah, Ford. A different voice. I'm, uh, I'm afraid you've got me a little, little lost. I don't think so. And I am talking to you as one accomplished liar to another. What do you, uh, what do you want me to say here? I held on to my garbage for a long time, and you don't know all of it, and I am willing to tell you more. I would feel better knowing who you are, because I don't trust that I do. I will tell you more if you want. I will go first. If It'll make it easier for you, or you consider it a better trade, but we have bound ourselves together, and I feel like I know this group pretty well. I know Yasha better than you, and she never fucking says anything. I love you, Ashley. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> Uh, 
Who do you think we're going to chase you out of here? Run you off? I find it hard to believe that anything you tell me, maybe I'm wrong, but is worse than what is inside my head. Oh no, I, I don't think that's it at all. Uh, it is not in me to speak about myself. It appears the same is true for you. Um, I, I found myself reinvented when I woke up on that shore. When I wake up at night, spitting up water, it's reminders of a time when the rest of my life no longer mattered, didn't apply. <clears throat> I didn't care for that life. Didn't care for me. I prefer to leave it in the past. It's not that I'm hiding anything from you, I I don't want to bring things from my old life into this one. I can sound like many people do many things. Yeah, but it's just been the one that I've heard. When you think no one is listening. Is that your past? Yeah. Yeah, it is. I have dealt heavily with my past. And I worry now more than ever that it is nipping at my heels. Do you have worries like that? Do you feel like your past will come back to bite you or it is just painful and you wish to shun it? Because that is the main reason I ask, this is our family now. And we are looking out for each other. And I have told all of you something I am very ashamed of, because I worry about you all. And maybe I just want to know that you are not worried about something like that as well. I want to know what's at my back. You are right. You have been very forthcoming. I admire that, especially given what you've told us. There is nothing that nips at my heels or is at my back that is of danger to anyone else in this group. I appreciate you wanting to know more. I almost resent you for <laughs> telling us as much as you have, anyone for sharing their pain. It seems like the last thing I would ever wanna do and to see it done with such conviction, resistance. I'll try. Give me some time. I, I do not want to share this with the group. I feel like sometimes you hold on to things that make you who you are, and if you lose those things, you can fall free. I have had those same thoughts for a long time. We can remake ourselves into something better. Yeah. 
that's what I, that's what I thought I was doing. I promise you, here and now, there is no danger from my past. I like this me. I love it. If I would have my way, none of you would ever know anything about who I was before, and I mean that. I find myself on my heels in this room. Please understand, I am not trying to be deceptive. Just let me figure out how the fuck to say it, and let me come to you, and I will feel less like I have been Less like I've had something taken from me. Let me find a way to tell you. Please. Um, all right. That's fair. The only reason people in this group know anything about me is because I am crazy. I actually don't think you're crazy. You're one of the more put-together people I know. <laughs> At least that's what I see. It's what you show. Thank you for, I was gonna say caring. That's accurate, give me a hand. I'm not a good person, but we are friends. We are friends. We are friends. All right, to be continued. <laughs> Is that fire and water mixing? That's when, that's when we start fire. <laughs> that's steam. It's the winds of destiny. <laughs> All right, as you guys are <clears throat> putting the finishing touches, you are filling out the training room. Uh, you are finishing out chemical components. I don't know what you're doing right now. <laughs> practicing smiling. Yeah, we're going practicing on a bender. Petting <laughs> nugget while I paint him a dog face. Figuring out that wasn't turmeric. <laughs> <laughs> I ran out of turmeric a while ago, so I don't know why you used. <laughs> Woo! I rolled a d20, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's pop And <laughs> Now I don't know. Make a perception check for me. Oh, oh god, oh god, could be bad. Under his eye. Not great. Eight. Eight. Okay. We're gonna go to break. Ah! <laughs> what it has been? What do you not see? Spies everywhere. It's always what you don't see. Fuck. So we'll be back here in a few minutes. We're going to take a quick little break yeah. here. I, it's ready the for call that I can't get in the room. We do have <laughs> I was like, are you a Wormwood giveaway for the evening. Oh boy. This awesome uh, figured myrtle tabletop tray here. Ooh. Beautiful wood and lie leather interior from our friends at Wormwood. Expertly crafted. Uh, going to one of you lucky winners out there. Tonight's uh, password is patron. P-A-T-R-O-N. So go ahead and enter it once in the chat yeah. on the Twitch. More than that, you'll be disqualified. Once again, only US and Canada, so we'll come back because of stupid laws. But we'll come back here shortly with a winner. See you guys in a second. Woo! You got the perfect warlock, her weapons and supplies. But you need a place to track your stuff because you're so disorganized. You click open the web page. You heard about a critical role. Last time on Tox Machina. Look at this sleepy boy. Man. Henry! Hey, let him let let him live, dog. He completely ignored you. His eyes didn't even open. I know, that's a, uh, that is a true cattle dog. Henry! 
still, his eyes did not even open. Henry! <laughs> wait, so wait, wait, nope. shh, shh, shh. Oh. Henry. <gasps> oh, oh, no, it's his daddy's oh, voice. Oh, oh, oh my that God. That was adorable. Boy. All, you um, need to kill, all you need to kill Caleb's family is a Molotov cocktail. Oh! You can't hide behind that digital mug Fuck. forever. He's here still. Yeah. Is he here? In the lobby. Jesus Christ, someone give me the eyes when I start a joke like that. We can't stop you whenever yeah. you started. What Brian. do you mean? I've tried. Oh, my parents told me the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> You're the bad guy? Oh, oh I said several You just said times. that's what every bad guy does. Fucking slip. Oh. Wait a second. <gasps> oh, Wait who's a first second. on your list? I mean, who's first? the Can bad we guy? Who's on your list? Who's I on your list? I have a trap. Look at Red. how weird <laughs> you just got. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. We're gonna turn on you before you oh. turn on us. Oh. I mean as a team. Humans back We're the the bad menu, guys. Boy. <laughs> Normal sucks. Right, Max? Yeah. Marish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bringing yeah. sexy back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Previously on Ming Drop. I auditioned for Hook. Did you? For the daughter. And I got pretty close on it. To the point where I had to I had to learn a song, because you know how she sings the little she song does. in the thing. When you're alone. Yes. Wait, how does it go? I don't I just know when you're <laughs> all that was I worked on the soundtrack. I she does on, that little voice. I she worked on so the cute. soundtrack for Hook. You did? 1994, Milano, Italy. <laughs> Electronic Devices presents. The Federation has expanded his power across. The Federation is a guy. power? Yeah. Okay. Trading between the worlds has been well, pacefully for a long time. But now the pirates are breaking down the pace. Oh no. Now his secret base has been discovered and is the time to stop. Oh, this is weird. This, I'm so into it. <laughs> Hombit world. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Level one. Okay, All right, so there's funny. like a big explosion as the second button. All right. Oh lord, this is really hard to play. This is, what a weird. Am I supposed to, oh we already killed those things, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Floor's lava, floor's lava. <laughs> Wait, I want to get these bullets. <laughs> get in battle. that room! Get in that room! From Superman in this game? Oh. Are they both good or both bad? They're both good. Okay. I mean, they're both Superman. Oh, so we're playing together. So you are the you are the one I'm in the, the red, red one. suit with the with the white cape. Okay, that's a punch. And then there's a kick button. Oh, there's a kick? Oh, I don't a... think there's anything else yet. That is the kick. Yeah, his kick is kind of lame. I am the best artist is what the <laughs> What does that say? It says I am the best artist. <laughs> what does the thing in the back say? Uh, I, I, orth. Get out of here. Scram. Dis, riptum e portis. I'm not entirely sure. Fuck you. Don't get crazy. Uh. Oh! Oh, this is not what on. I wanted. That's not what anybody wanted. Okay, okay, that's fine. No! No, <laughs> no you had three left. <laughs> you need to do it again. You got so close. Oh. It's a wonderful addition to the, to the machine. Sticker. I know. <laughs> do you want double bubble or do you want Jolly Rancher? Uh, I always go double bubble personally. Go double but, bubble. All right, that's a, we'll go Jolly Rancher. I th thank you guys so much. Uh, hey, are you? Are you guys still here? <gasps> are you guys still here? After yeah, we're still here. Last time. Shit. Hey, what time is it? Seriously, you, you guys know that here being here after hours is a liability. Did Did you deputize a llama? It's a liability. Yes, it's a liability. So get out. Clear out. Oh uh, my God! Apparently, we've been invaded by puppets. This has been a this has been a one of the main. That's not a puppet. Drop. That's that's Guys, that's. You got five minutes. That's a critter. That's a, who is get, that? Get it! Get it! That was that was who was that? I feel that? like I should know that character like off the top of my head. A 
I'm a fan of hot air balloon rides above the Venetian countryside. I'm a fan of Momlin. She's always got my back. I'm a fan of wine older than Taliesin. I'm a fan of Twitch subscriptions. I'm a fan of emotes by Arsqueef. They're neat. I'm a fan of a wife so cool. People forget I exist. 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 exist.
everyone, and welcome back. Uh, so first, we have our winner of our giveaway. It uh, is congratulations to Woman Only. Woman Only. Woman, the woman only. The woman only. The womb and only. Oh. The woo. The woo Jamaican. man. Yeah, it was like. Donly. I. There's a lot of ways this can be pronounced. <laughs> anyway, congratulations. We'll get this sent to you as soon as possible. I know. That's great. Oh. All righty. <laughs> so, we're back from break. Uh, is there anything else we wanted to do? Any other preparation? Any other deeds? Just, take care just of. irony's sake, I was just curious what happens if I just lay the, the blade next to the broken longsword. Does it auto? Does it just like. Okay, so. Yeah, no, I, can, you take, I can tell you. Take the handle and hold. <laughs> what? Go ahead, carry on. It does that thing. It's been years now. Okay. I know. <laughs> I'm learning. You are. Yeah. Trying. Means I have to change it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I have to adapt, I have to change it. Um, Maybe four days later, I realized that Framken never was able to climb down from the tree, so I Aww. summoned him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <to me>. <laughs> <laughs> the neighbor's like, oh. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> What is that, that noise? The next door hates us. <laughs> I actually wanted to take a peek at that sword. It's upstairs. Okay. You're up there all the time. Anything from the Lord, the Legend Lord? I I don't have the money to sp- like. That's a that's a that's a process. It on sunlight for his tree. Yes. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. We'll get there. This is better. Um, so yes, you want to inspect? Just just look at it. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's beautifully made. It it is looking at the size of the blade. It is a long sword. Okay. Um, the way it's snapped or broken. Looks less like a stress break and more internal, or like something severed it from the inside of the metal. Meaning, whatever shattered it, it shattered it through means beyond just forceful snapping. Um, there are a number of runes across the bl- each side of the blade. Um, it's, both parts are extremely lightweight. For most metals that you've dealt with and weapons that you've dealt with, um, the actual elements of it that are designed, the scrolling of it, uh, it looks almost like acid marked in places. Um, but it, where it looks like there's textures and 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 kind of a, a shifting in the way that the light plays off the metal, that looks at first glance like it could be. Imperfect, but in looking, it's all meticulously, intentionally placed to be a pattern. So it's beautifully designed. Damascus esque in places. Okay. Okay. Anyone else? Anything else? Has it been 13 days yet? If you'd like to jump ahead, we can. Well, let's, have a, let's have a meeting. Let's figure out the plan. Oh, it's or, been, I'd say it's been about eight days. You have two days out from everything you guys were preparing and doing, the conversations, the shopping. It's been about eight, pushing on nine days. You're about a day or two away from the this date. I'd like to scout. Scout what? The place. Scout the place. Oh, scout the, yeah, the, the, the Rusty Crow or whatever yeah. it's called? Yeah. Oh, okay. Trombo. Yeah. I, we went there once. We did. Hmm? We went there once. We did. I wasn't with you. Oh, no. I was think. Like we, really, we, we just saw the interior. We didn't, uh, not all of it. I feel like we still could. Sparse. There was also overgrown. Will you look at my hair oil really fast, though? Oh. Ask Yeza, too. Yeza, what's in this hair oil? <laughs> uh, um, I have to run out. I have to check. And he goes and uncorks it and. He takes it to the, uh, the alchemical station and begins you know, taking some elements of it and testing. Don't waste it, it though, because it was pretty expensive. Doesn't waste anything. You just need to use a little yeah, bit. I have to use a little bit to okay. actually test it. And he, he goes through the process. It, it takes about an hour or so from to run a couple tests, it's and then don't micromanage my husband. <laughs> <laughs> He's fine. <laughs> it turns it to you. Uh, I'm not entirely certain what it is. It appears to be an oil derived from some sort of a, uh, an organic fat. So it probably at one point was largely a base taken from a creature. Mm. Um, uh, there's nothing caustic or dangerous about it. And I guess it might work as like a pomade or at least a scalp oil. Nice. So it's you're you're safe to use it, I guess. 
Thank you so much, Yeza. Thank you, Yeza. You're welcome. <laughs> Nick carefully like maneuvers around the team. <laughs> you spent your time here figuring out the kiss. That's great. Uh, we almost got it. <laughs> Some things you don't need to kiss. I'm gonna use this every night we're here. Okay. Okay. You guys noticed the following morning uh, a very, very unique sheen to uh, Jester's hair. Simply irresistible. <laughs> it's shiny, it's full, it does carry a smell. Um, and by, by, by the second day, it's, it's starting to just turn greasy. My, how the tables have turned. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to grow really fast because of the stuff, you guys. You're looking very sharp. You want it to grow? <laughs> Do you have any incense or something for our room? Uh, Do you, would you mind? I got a little bit, actually. I do. I wore my hair in a, like, a top knot for a while just to you keep give me it. a while, I can oh, give you a Oh, look, you, Bo! Look, we have Twinkie hairs now. Yeah, just like me. Maybe stay yeah. away from like open flames for a hot second. <laughs> or animals. Looks like it'll go right up. Nuggets really likes me right now, though. <laughs> Nuggets off in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Sprinkle? Sprinkles fine with it. Let's sprinkle die the law. Sprinkles like rolling in it. I think Sprinkles like dead. <laughs> and has been for weeks. <laughs> Drown, burn. <laughs> what do you think, Sprinkle? I'm fat. I will say. I will. I will say Sprinkle does look pretty rough. <laughs> like. <laughs> what started kind of a smiley picture is now a little skittish. <laughs> oh, my, what does it smell like? Drown, right burn. now it smells like the pomade. Uh, Sprinkles are. Sprinkle's a, a, a tough beast, but, but definitely is a little more world weary than we I first thought. I put Sprinkle in the tree and make him like a nice, mm -hmm. like weasel nest. <laughs> okay. A tree What's house a in the weasel house? nest. Well, I mean, there's already some like stuff to get around in the tree. Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. Yeah. You can strut what you assume a weasel nest would look like. <laughs> make a nature <laughs> check. Burrow, burrow out, there's a hole. It's like a hammock. Oh, oh, you're in the yeah. car. Oh, wow. This is good. Oh, no. Nature three. So. <laughs> no! You make this beautiful, like, mud and thatch, like, a, like, a, like an egg hut that you place up in one of the branches. Here, weasel. Sprinkle. <laughs> right. You forgot his name! Yeah, he's this one step like away from death. My ten-year-old daughter collects like arts and crafts pieces and makes fairy houses out on the trees in the yeah. back. And it's just like yep. construction yes. paper and boxes. One or green away from other. being mush, but worse. Roll it in like, 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 so, you guys, you guys hear this, hear this series of squeaks from above the house. There it goes. As you go up and check, and you watch as Jester is trying to force this weasel into the house that she worked so hard to make. You like it? I don't, I don't think that. You like it? No, like it. Until eventually, gets him inside of it. Do you like it, <laughs> Time to do the dragon's first weasel. <laughs> the big bat has been revealed. <laughs> oh, oh ow. It, it will sense. have its revenge. Ow. <laughs> ow. ow. I catch some of the weasel <laughs> 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 I still don't know what weasels eat. <laughs> would I have known if I figured it out by now? By your, by your nature check you made earlier? No. Nope. Doesn't seem to be liking leaves. No, I'm going to catch some rats down in the basement, and I'm going to try to feed them that. Jeez, cannibals. Okay. You throw some rats in there. <laughs> rats are. No, Half the size. Oh, I of it. Little like, um, of rats. You're like rat literally chunks. throwing rat some rat rat chunks. cousins in there. I give him some rat chunks. Oh and then my I'll try God. some. And then I'm gonna try bugs next. Here, human, <laughs> eat this teenager. <laughs> <laughs> you must be hungry. <laughs> he has a leg. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Tell me, is it good, sir? It's too good, at least. <laughs> uh, 
Ow. <laughs> okay. Dying. We'll, we'll say. Oh, they prey on mammals. Rabbit size or smaller. Fuck you guys. He would love the rats. Okay. Okay. I wouldn't. I'm not. Fuck you. No, no, fuck no. Fuck you, Ashley. Specifically, Ashley. That'll teach you. Give me that. Give me that. Fuck you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. This fell apart so quickly. Yeah. Oh boy. This is, this is real. Oh, so, so anyway, uh, skittish and reserved in a strange land after some wild adventures, Sprinkle has been forced into an uncomfortable home and is staying there for the time being. Eventually, you do hear some eating sounds out of necessity. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but there you go. You don't have to stay in there. I just thought you would like it. But if you don't like it, you can come on out anytime. <laughs> oh, I think he's really mad at me. It's okay. Give him some time. He just needs to blow off some steam. <laughs> <laughs> she knows you're really mad. That's oh. okay. You stay up there as long as you need. Yeah, help me out, Caduceus. Okay. I just did. Maybe okay. he's starting to like it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's a treehouse, treehouse. Alrighty. <laughs> so, well done. Mm. <laughs> All right, what's our plan? We need a plan. There was a. Let's go to the war room. Oh. Yes. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's go, go to my war room. room. Oh, man. You guys travel to your war room, <laughs> which has a table and chairs. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, the walls are still plain. All right. What is your war room? We need to decorate the war room. Put the tell me, just tell me what you want to tell me. And Let's make focus it on the war. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> not, on the, not on the room. Um, so, what, <laughs> we're going to just stake it out for another four days? At some point, I would like to reconnect my husband with our son, or possibly. I bet I, how far. Hey, we all made this trip. How far was Allfield from Nicodronus? A couple weeks. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right. Right? Or is it like a week? Uh, Nicodronus to Allfield, I'd say you're looking at about a week at least of travel if it's if it's constant on like horseback. It's if it, like if it's part of a caravan, a you know, it's a little more casual. You're looking at like a week and a half, we send maybe. Some money to the Golden Chain Gang to go up and escort them down or something. The mercenaries you're talking about? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> What? Why? But the, they seem ill-suited for Protective escorting a work? child. I thought they were like guardians and protectors. Yeah, they're gonna, guardians. Are we, but aren't they like the elite hitman force? Exactly why they're the best babysitters. Well, I don't so I know fucking, why what's you're the problem fighting like, this. Yeah. Oh, bear comes up, shaka bam! Sassy oh, comes up, slink! <laughs> yep, you got You know what we could right, do? I have you know what we, gold. <laughs> oh, that, I think they cost more than that. Yeah. I don't know for sure, but Ford would probably know. We could pop, you know, Yaza over to Nicodranus, and then he can be there and hire people, and then the people can travel with him up to Allfield and get Luke. And then they can go back down to Nicodranus and live with my mama. I would not feel comfortable sending Yeza on that journey alone. What is your ultimate goal, though? Would you prefer that your to husband and son... To my family. I, I know that. The next part of the question is, would you prefer they live here, in this home, or in Nicodranus with just his mother, or where? I would think outside of the Empire is probably better. Right? What are probably, we working toward? Probably with your mother is a, the safest place Seems I can think be of for right now. A wise course of it. What if we reached out to Bryce for her advice, hiring someone? For their advice? For their mm. advice. Yes, thank you. Mm. Um, do we have, oh, of course we have the ability to do that. Sure, That's the thing. yeah. I mean, they have a level head on their shoulders. They're not uh, cutthroat mercenaries. And we for sure know that your son has made it to all fields? Yes! Yeah, we checked in. Yeah, why wouldn't Bryce want to help us? Because they have a war to fight? Yeah. Well, it, it's not a sure thing, but it's a good lead. We could. Hold on, I'll send a message. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, old Bryce! It's us. Hey, you know the kid and the old lady? Could you maybe. Take them down to Nicodranus, maybe? How much would it cost? How much would it cost? Uh, hello? Huh. Yes, I am watching over them. 
Things are uh, tense. I have responsibilities. I could send them south. Ooh, price is busy. But they could send them south. Yeah, you asked how much, and they did not. Uh, did they reply to that? No. No. Does Bryce have any recommendations on people that they might know? Very, very short message. I. Yeah. I assume that those sorts of things could be taken care of if we decide that that's the best course of action. I don't think. I don't think we would have to know the particulars. In I fact, if not. anything, not knowing the particulars might be. No, I would want to know the particulars. I mean, we we made this trip ourselves and nearly died several times. Not on that little part, though. So getting to Nicodronus out of the Empire was very hard. We we had to go through the gate and prove who we were. The the. Yeah, we did fight those two-headed people. We got am- ambushed yeah, at some point. We, 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 bad. we weren't caravanning, though. Yeah. I mean, that's the whole we point also of caravanning. We bought three pets, and two of them were still with us. <laughs> oh, poor Professor Thaddeus. I hope Fuck he's living bird. his best life. Yeah, no problem, some shithead. <laughs> Fuck him. Oh, he, he broke my heart. living his best luck. Get out of here. I'd like to scry on the bird. Sorry. No, no. Oh. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> One day, we're going to do that. I want to know what that piece of shit is up to. <laughs> well, we have four days. So part of that, I think, Beauregard, you're correct, we want to scout out the place and, and figure out how we're going to handle that, but we have a handful of days where we could conceivably bring uh, Yeza to Nicodranus, visit hire your mother, hire someone, someone that we choose, <coughs> jump back, set it in motion, and then Yeza, we have to trust Yeza to. Uh, He's a big halfling. Mm-hmm. He can take care of himself. He's actually below average size. Oh. Very skilled, though. Or we wait. That sounds crazy. It's maybe I mean, your call. Do you want to wait until after we figure this out in four days? I feel like maybe you're looking for an option that doesn't exist. I think yeah, I think you're right, Mr. Cray. I, I, I don't think I would feel comfortable sending, I mean, Yeza, do you, do you think you would be able to go with a bunch of cell swords up to? Not a bunch, just like one, they're really expensive. <laughs> With or maybe, one cell sword up to get our son, or maybe just travel with some merchants or yeah, something. Caravan. Yeah, caravan. Uh, I, I, I mean, I can definitely ride along. I probably need a little bit of guidance on how best to do that. I have not. Yeah, I've been all. I haven't really traveled. Yeah, yeah. Much. No. I kind of grew up in in Felderwind, well, so. I mean. Well, if he's with a, a group moving to Allfield, <clears throat> he won't have to know where Allfield is. He just has to look for his son once he gets there. Yeah. Keep his head down. Also, yeah, I could go with him. If hmm. we want. Oh, trust me. But then you'd be gone for a bit. Yeah. Not. But just for a bit. What if you get to your family and you're like, I love them and I would That is absolutely them. gonna happen. <laughs> no. Do you wanna go home? No. I mean. I don't. Uh, yeah. Yes, of course I want to go home, but I can't go home right now. Wait, there's maybe not a home to go to at the moment. We could split up the party for a little bit. You and Caleb and maybe a couple others can go to Nicodronus, find a group to send Yeza up with, and the rest of us can this? stake out the How place about here. This? Rather than plotting all of, our, uh, all of us splitting up. If we do have a day or two, maybe, maybe we could test your new spell, your new teleporty spell. Mm. We could go see the wizard there, and maybe he can teleport us to Allfield? I don't know, maybe he has that power? Uh, maybe, that's a big maybe. That's a very big maybe, yeah. especially and in the middle of all this. With him is uh, improvised at best. Allfield yeah. was a pretty smoked town. At this point. Yeah. Also, once you get to Allfield, it doesn't mean that Allfield is going to have a teleportation circle I back to it. Rosanna. Doubt it. I don't know how that works. Yeah. That's this is a this is a month to yeah. do this with no guarantee it'll go well. 
Whatever seems best for you. Whatever you guys want. I think... If it were me, I would arrange a way to get your children south and not try and cross a border twice. And then... The border's really well guarded. One crossing, and then have everyone reunite south, away from all of this. I will say it's probably easier to leave the border than to get in. Yeah. I wonder... I wonder if Essek or someone here would be willing to send even just a couple of us, maybe all of us, but even if it was just a few of us, to Allfield. I could get us to Nicodranas. How would Essek do that? Well, uh, I'm not the only person in the world who knows how to jump across the continents. If someone here could send us, we could go to your boy, then I could take us to Nicodranas from anywhere. Jump back. We don't even have to go straight to Allfield, just if there's a transportation circle close to there. But Caleb, how, how does that work? I, d I don't know. I, I, what I am capable of doing is tied to very specific locked locations, but... And if they had the ability to do that, call me crazy. Crazy. Wouldn't they, <laughs> wouldn't they have done it when they were, you know, attacking the Empire? Yeah, rather than going in with tunnels and stuff. I feel like just because you can get to Nick Dranas doesn't mean that you can get back here. Uh, I can, actually. You can? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. But I also, I don't know, this. Sure. The, the problem is Allfield, <coughs> getting to Allfield quickly. I'm, I'm still of the opinion we don't need to necessarily get to Allfield. I don't, I don't see what's wrong with just Sending a five-year-old boy halfway across the continent with no one that we know? I see a big problem with that. I can't do it. I'm sorry. Yes, Mr. Mr. Clay, we, we are just not sure about uh, the speed of this I didn't war. say no one that you know. Well, I mean, it, we, know, we know that Luke is safe, right? Yeah, right and where Edith, he is. Right? Yeah. And it seems, seems to be at least one of the areas furthest from where all this war stuff's happening. Mm. I can stay here a little longer. We have a nicer place to stay than we were at. I don't want you guys all messing up your, you know, your plans and everything just to get me out there. I. We do have friends that we could contact, and at some point they. I can, can make clean up the place a bit while you guys <laughs> are off. Uh, I could just try and straighten up and make myself good. useful, you know. I That's think so we nice. should be realistic about what we're about to jump into. Well, let's flip things then. Let's focus on, on this the place. Task at hand. Yes, the task at hand. Right. And in the meantime, perhaps I can uh, <coughs> speak with the powers that be here and maybe get some of us or all of us passage to Allfield. If we can get a one way ticket to Allfield, I can bring the boy back here. If the boy is here, he can live here, or we can bring. All of you to Nicodranas. Are you looking at penises right now? No, I was remembering. No, I think you're absolutely right. I was just remembering we do have one other friend in Allfield that I would trust. Remind us? Shakasta. Mm hmm. Ah. Oh. Shakasta. But for now, let's just focus on the whatever. Where are we going <laughs> in three days? Well, I should also mention that when we did see the place, and I don't know why I keep getting off track, there was a there was a weird magical glow coming from the back. What was this place? You we all haven't told me. Oh. Oh, it was a shop on Red Goblin. It's where I got my hair stuff. Shop was is a really got it. Just practically a touch stress. It. That's oh yeah. yeah it's oh. Fucking. Oh. Okay, here, here. The overthrow. <laughs> Thanks. The overthrow. Yeah, it's okay. Just keep going. Thanks, kids. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? The Overcrow Apothecary, yes. It's an apothecary? Yeah. It felt a little thin. <clears throat> Didn't have a lot of stock, and it was a, definitely a bit of a mess. Well, it might just be a front, some kind of Do you want to distract the... And there was a magic <clears throat> aura coming from the back. Do you want to distract the shopkeeper while we right. snoop around in the back or something? The shopkeeper really liked Ford. 
Who doesn't? That's true. The shopkeeper did really like. I mean, four. he's a hundred thirty lean pounds of hot. Okay, add forty five. No, sixty. <laughs> we then ninety five. Yeah, I'll distract it. Okay, it's not a problem. Yeah. Do that. Do you, do you think know if they can... had a back entrance? The we goblin or the, the apothecary? The shop. The what? What? Uh, what? <laughs> you didn't really check <laughs> we, we, we didn't do a full circle of the place, did we? That's the mm-hmm. <laughs> But there is an upstairs. The goblin lives upstairs. We could break in at night. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. You can sneaky sneak. A couple of us can hide ourselves from vision. Well, I'm a little iffy on that, but. Oh, yeah? I can do it for a, for a second. I can do it for a little while, but I'm not like. I can do it. I can do it for ten seconds. Ten seconds. About about ten yeah. seconds. Well, hmm. I can sneaky sneak. You and can sneaky sneak. That's about it. Let's go do it. Let's do what it. time is it? Hey, look, it's nighttime every day. <laughs> 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 we'll wait until the sun goes. Oh, never mind. <laughs> All right. So what's the plan? It is. Uh, you're on the. I'd say 11th day. 13 days is when this is supposed to happen on Grissom. You've got a, you've got a cat talk so long. Yeah, we did. We well, I was saying also that the time it took you guys to set all this stuff up was a week and a half. Yeah. So yeah, you're looking yeah, at around yeah. like 10 days, 11 days uh, of this process. So you have about two, a little over two days. Did we, did we tell the powers that be that we found another device, or was that not, no, did yeah, that not yeah. get brought up? No. You just, you found the, no, the, the device and the cloth piece you kept for yourselves. Um, and there is also a reoccurring theme with apothecaries. Do we want to inform Yez's husband? Y- yes. Their apothecary got targeted. Oh, why this don't, is a little oh. beyond my. Why don't oh, yeah. we hold on to our information just for a couple more days? Trust your opinions. No, I don't want to tell anyone this shit. Yeah, see what we learn in two days. I'm yeah. really curious as to who this blonde haired man is. And oh, no. if. We're especially now that we're only 13 days out, I'm kind of curious if he's already in the city. Oh, I could scry on him again tonight. Let's do it. Yeah. Maybe uh, send the cat cat in for recon. <coughs> <Okay>. <coughs> yeah. yeah. So what's the plan? What are we doing? Are we scrying on him tonight, or are we going up there tonight? We can do we both. Can do both. Let's yeah. do it. Let's scry on him, and then after we scry, we can head over. Yeah, because maybe maybe we can hit both places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two stones with one so this bird. is two days in advance. You'll be going to the uh, Over Crow. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Scrying first? Yeah. Okay, so now you know what the figure looks like, and you have the piece of material, correct? Yeah. Okay. Let me bring up the spell here. All righty. So, as you prepare the scry circle, you expend the spell, leaving your consciousness, the vision and senses in the hands of the Divine Traveler. And unfortunately, if you oh. the, the spell is unable to penetrate the space around this figure, they made their saving throw. Damn it. So. Does that mean they know that someone was trying to? Uh, you guys have knowledge of the scrying spell? Generally, no, it does not mean they're, they're aware, but it means that they just resisted it. You have to try again another day. Okay. Or I could try. Or you could try. Mm-hmm. Ooh, two clerics. I got, the, I got the weird stuff Here. up right now. All right. Here's the fabric. Focus on it real hard. One man should have all that power. Focus on it real hard. He's got wavy what? blonde hair. He's got wavy blonde hair. Oh, wavy blonde hair. He was medium tall. He had human ears. Everyone's short to me. He had a blue cloak on. Oh, that's nice. Zimnian accent. He had a Zimnian accent. Just your Which one's the way? Okay. Here, here's my drawing of him. Let's like focus fish. on my drawing. Oh, that's a really nice drawing. Okay. His hair smells like you, rendered you dog his description. You hold the piece and you close your eyes, giving, giving your senses over to the Wild Mother. And you learn a secondary aspect of the spell, which is when a target has resisted it, they are immune to it for the next 24 hours. Oh. So you spend your spell slot, oh, no. but you have to wait another day to try again, unfortunately. Yeah. I'm into it, I'm into it. <laughs> I spent 10, 20 minutes trying to get it to work. No I got nothing. Sorry. <laughs> I'm into it. Uh, well, we can still do. To the overcrow. Try it again tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do it. 
Yeah. All right. Oh. Yeah. What time is it in? All our fifths are burnt. Sleepy time. Yeah. Moment. Uh, I'd say with the, with the day you guys have been planning and discussing and mulling about the house, you're getting close to what would be dusk, though it is still nighttime. <clears throat> do we want to? Do we want to do, do this? this? Why yeah, fuck it. Why do this? The shop is open and preoccupied downstairs, or waiting until this person. Maybe the do it right asleep. as the shop is closing and Ford can knock on the door and be like, I've just been thinking about you so much these last couple of weeks, and I really hope I can talk to you. Maybe what was the shopkeeper's name again? Oh, okay. And then she can lead you upstairs. Are you just follow right. her. I'm but as you follow, you can slowly Laura. open up the shirt that Look. you're wearing. I don't You have really read that book. Moral of the Goblin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's right. do this. So you guys leave your home in the firmaments, make your way through the Galamafri to the coronas of the city of Rosona, eventually finding your way through the night streets to the outskirts of the Overcrow Apothecary. Approaching the familiar building for those who've already been here before, the rest of you seeing it for the first time, you can see the two-story, like thin but tall structure between the nearby buildings. Uh, there's like kind of a larger makeshift in to the left side and another kind of thatched structure to the right that looks kind of rickety and put together with sticks and whatever sort of dried reeds could be strapped together. But there in the center is this, this structure, this this painted home with the uh, chains hanging from the outside of the roofing elements. <coughs> um, the door appears to be closed, but you do see a little bit of glowing light from uh, the top and bottom of it where there's a slight gap. Before we go in, uh, Caduceus, will you block my view in this alleyway over here for a moment? You do also see the second floor, like there, there is a bit of roofing up there. The second floor does have a window to the front, but it is closed. There are uh, two wooden shutters that are closed on it. Okay, uh, in an alleyway, if that's possible. Okay, uh, it's, it's tight. Uh, you have to probably go across the street or around. Yeah, because right, yeah. this building is like right up against the yeah. other two. It's better to go a ways away from it. So I just okay. need a private space to apparate Frumpkin, and then um, uh, I um, use a bit of uh, gum Arabic and cast invisibility on Frumpkin. Okay. So I have an invisible Shh. cat on my shoulder. Yes, you do. Frumpkin is invisible. All right. Anybody else doing anything? I put up my hood, try and hide my face as much as I can. Are we all going in, or no? I'm no. gonna. I'm gonna. Is there a back entrance? Is there a back alley to this building? Uh, you go around the sides. There is a way to get to the back. There's not like an alleyway. There, a lot of the buildings in this area are kind of jammed together. There's not a lot of space between them, at least on the side of the of the of the street. Um, so about. Eight or nine buildings down, there is enough of a gap where you could squeeze through, and there is kind of a back alley there, but it isn't it isn't gridded well. Okay. But it's possible, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the long way. I'm gonna let these guys know we should split up so we're not that suspicious. I'm gonna go around back and I'm gonna loop around okay. and cool. keep an eye out for anyone who might be watching. Got it. Make a stealth check and perception check. <clears throat> Stealth check is a 22. Perception check is Come on. not as good as I wanted it to be. An 11. 11, okay. Keeping your eyes out. You feel confident that no one seems to be paying much mind to you as you travel through the streets, face hidden amongst the cloak. You make your way into the back alley, glancing about. Eventually you walk along until you are behind the building in question, and you are in position there to watch. You're going to go in as the face, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I guess I'll try and keep her by Do the you front want door. Do to go in too? Because I've got the hair stuff, so I've got a good in. Oh, sure, yeah, that, yeah, why not? I telepathically command Frumpkin, Invisible Frumpkin, to stay <clears throat> by Ford until they're inside, and once he sees, once I see that the shopkeep is preoccupied, he will then start to search the building. Okay. Yeah. Uh, are you, Focus. I'm staying outside. I need someone to stay with me. I'm right there. Okay. Okay. So Caduceus is staying with Caleb. So. Yasha, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm going to stay with you guys as well. Um, I'm going to stay with Caleb and. Uh, okay. okay, so we have Caduceus, Caduceus, Yasha, and Caleb outside. Are you finding like a little pocket on one of the nearby buildings? Just sit down. Do you want to keep her at the front door, or do you want to actually go in the shop? I think we should probably go in the shop. All right. You should see if, you know, you can flip Just go in the fucking okay. shop. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can go around back with. 
and <coughs> rub a little gum Arabic on my eyebrows and turn invisible as well. Okay, make a stealth check with advantage. <coughs> 28. <laughs> okay. You're, you feel pretty <sighs> good. So damn bad. All right, so you knock on the door. Yeah. We're closing! <laughs> Can I come in for just a moment? I have a question about something I bought. Uh, fine, come in! Thank you. Oh, hey! Hi. Good to see you! Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah! Do you walk in with? I do. And hello! <laughs> Moro, it is good to see you. No, oh, the pleasure is mine. Mm. <laughs> um, I have a question about yeah. the hair oil that I bought. Oh, you're using it! Yes, I'm I so am. heavy! Yes, I've been using it every night for a week now. Ooh. And I didn't know, am I supposed to wash my hair ever or just leave it in? Like, does it just keep building up and up over time, and then all of a sudden my hair grows like a foot? I don't understand. I think that's more of a cultural choice. I tend to leave it in. Okay. But, you know, whatever you want. How do you always? Do you ever wash your the hair? The fragrance is it rather. It just gets in the way. Oh. Oh. Okay. Cool, I was just wondering how to use it. You know, it's the funniest thing, every time I put it in, Ford is like, you smell so good, you smell so familiar, and I'm like, I smell like Moro, I think, and then he's I like, oh. I was wondering where that smell was, what it was reminding me of. Well, you certainly found the source. No. <laughs> I did, I did. <laughs> Oh, he you. won't shut up about how good he thinks it smells. Yep, so, really? so good, just makes my whole body flame tingles galore. Well. Yeah, now listen, I, I was wondering, do you have anything around here that a, a feller could drink or, or pour on himself to, I don't know, make someone uh, uh, fall in love with him? Frumpkin has been on the move for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so all this is happening. <laughs> I'm so proud. Is there, all of you. Is there a back yeah. window or anything? A back door? Uh, there is not a back. No, uh, there is not a back door. Oh. There is a back window on like the side. There's like there's like a small little room on the side of the main two-story building um, that has a window that is currently closed. I'm gonna go look in it. I'm gonna give not a boost. Thank you. Uh, okay. You don't know where to find not. No, we're I'm pulling invisible. On. Oh, okay. pulling on your... I thought we were taped. So yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, it is it is closed, and you go ahead and push on it. It's locked. Can you I'll lock start to it? unlock. Yeah. Okay. So it's latched from the inside. So you go ahead and get your tools out. Go ahead and roll. Proficiency plus dexterity. One. No. <sighs> Fuck. You get your hook behind there, and you're like, I got it. You pull, pull, and it kind of resists, and it slips out of your fingers, and instead your tool <laughs> on the inside of the building. Oh no. <laughs> you guys are talking and. Moro, I, I don't know how to say this, but what I need you. Hold on just a second, well, no, I'm sorry. This is my I just... is, and I, I, I pull my armor open to show my, my half worn chest. Make a persuasion check. Pack to I use thaumaturgy to blow his hair back. Just a little bit. <laughs> this. Mary Goblin is so torn. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> <laughs> well, what you're asking, I maybe don't have much in the way of potions, but oil applications can be helpful. And she rolls her arms up a bit. Loud of my life. <laughs> I made you to be my. Sweet thing. Lo <laughs> gave me her thieves tools. Always, you have thieves tools as well. I keep All right, on me. that's good. You I just keep singing. I just keep singing. Oh my god! Oh god! Come on! Okay. Eighteen. Okay. Eighteen. Okay. It's not opening. Oh. <laughs> Caleb has gone full Bran Stark and is holding out to Yasha and Caduceus' his arms, and my cat has so been in there for like happened. two minutes by yes, now. And now, at this point, is uh, 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 Ma uh, Moro has gone beneath the counter and is pulling out this kind of a thick salve, like a balm. It's like, but it needs to be applied directly. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys need some privacy? I can wait down here. No, it's fine. 
Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh. I'll just, um. <laughs> like the sun sails <laughs> in my eyes. You. Ford is quietly, eyes closed, singing to himself, putting his mind know. elsewhere. Uh, Moro goes and grabs a stool. Just thinking about who could tell Jumps onto it, to get up, and begins to like apply it on the exposed chest of Ford. Is, how distracted is she? So distracted. I'm just pretty distracted right now. Could I just walk backwards over to the window and unlatch it? Uh, the, yes, 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 yes. The room they're going into is not, it's, it's technically, a, it's on the oh, side okay, of the chamber okay, okay. you're in. Um, you look around and you see there is no back uh, uh, door necessarily. There's a small closet back there and there's a door that leads to what looks to be like a storage chamber of some kind. Um, so at that point, you're not really in a place where you can. Yeah. Help with that, unfortunately. Um, so, well, this whole time while this is happening, <laughs> three minutes later. Yes, Caleb. Fucking Kevin. door into the house. Pete, Investigation check. What are you looking for? I want the lay of the entire building and see if anything is. Oh, weird perception check, though. Perception check. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll also be casting Mage Hand. Okay. I also kind of described where I was seeing the glow from. I did my best to kind of give him a sense of where I saw a weird glow last time. Yeah, the glow is in the far, the far back corner. So if you're facing from the front door inward. There is a countertop where Moro is stationed there. There are two tables that kind of flank the sides, and there's just shit on the walls and boxes and empty things everywhere. And then there is the spiral staircase towards the back uh, that leads upward to the second floor. The, um, uh, or like kind of on the, on, on the side back yeah. of the chamber. The glow you recall was in the far back corner. Yeah. Um, 22. 22. All right, so you note, you know, through, uh, through Frumpkin noticed the entire layout of the interior of this chamber, everyone's location. Uh, there was the closed door on the far back, uh, and then kind of behind where they all are, and there was the spiral staircase that leads up to the secondary floor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Of course. Up, yeah. up, up to the staircase, yeah. there is a door there. It is closed. Hmm. Yeah, that's the end, end of the road. rope for me. End of the road. Uh, can Frumpkin peer? Is there a crack? Is there any kind of uh, slit at the bottom? Uh, with the perception check you rolled, uh, mm -hmm. there is, but there's no light. Yeah. Um, so roll perception with disadvantage. Okay. Terrible. Both terrible. Uh, seven. Yeah, I should just seven. go in and kill everyone. Can't really get a view. Fortunately, mm -hmm. the space is a little too thin. Mm -hmm. Frumpkin can't quite get an eye around. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to try Mage Hand. Okay. Just sort of blindly. Flick yeah, to try to fun. open. It doesn't have to be within sight. It can be any point within range. You can probably see through it since any it's a window. It says any point you choose within range doesn't have to have a line of sight. That's true. Okay. All right. But I won't know what I'm doing. Nope. So it's I need you to be make, blindly I need trying you to, to make a sleight of hand check without thieves' tools. So just strap just bra. A, a straight dexterity check with disadvantage. Huh? Straight. Straight dexterity, dexterity check with disadvantage. With disadvantage. Correct, because you can't see it. Okay, I rolled a 17 and a 16. Yeah. Both plus five, both over 20. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, what the hell? I tried to give her a lucky roll, but she's invisible. Yep. Uh, no, I'm not <laughs> the back again. of the head. You're visible again? I, I cast That's right, you cast my chance. Oh, oh. Man. But I'll oh. cast invisibility again. Okay. Right. I give her a boost through the window and then I okay. go in. Stealthily as fuck. Goggles on. Okay. You both quietly make it your way in. Um, this is a storage chamber. The smell is extremely strong. Um, all the scents that were inside the building when you were there last time um, tripled in pungency and intensity. Uh, all sorts of mildewed, uh, composting earthen type smells. Um, there are a number of small boxes and chests that are locked, um, and there's the door to the right. And you can hear Ford singing through the doorway. I knew when I saw you. Okay, I'm looking and for And you place uh, it along the sternum? I'm just watching, oh. kind of with hard eyes as I'm watching Ford get oiled up. Let <laughs> all. Correspondence, letters, oh mail. God. Investigation. Jester with a sweaty upper lip. How? <laughs> <laughs> this, this room and this oily like air. 15 like feet by 15 just, feet. Okay. Uh, You're right on Napoleon Dynamite. It's slow mo. <laughs> Roll a one, didn't you? I just died in your arms tonight. Are you helping with this too? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm looking around as well. Yeah. All right, so that's the issue. Please roll better than me. Uh, 24. Okay. 24. Oh okay. Looking around the room, you don't find any correspondence. 
there's no papers kept in here. Uh, you do find there are a lot of boxes that are chained and locked um, of different sizes, different qualities. Um, half of the room appears to be materials for use in the creation of these uh, these Things. potions, chemicals, bombs, and such. And there are looks to be though broken apart a few alchemical supply kits that are probably used, not well taken care of in the creation of these. Um, but then apart from that and those supplies, there are these, you know, this wide variety of different size boxes. Some some wooden, some metal, some like, you know, iron. Do There's like a small silver box. Written on them. Rhino are these signs? Fat, ostrich fat. That they've yep. been making dunamancy back here. Uh, nothing that seems to catch your attention there. I'm gonna pull, um, oh, I'm sorry. They are locked. I'm gonna point to the fr- towards the front of the the thing, hold the wire up to my lips and say, Mr. Clay, Mr. Clay, come back here right away as fast as you can, to the back of the house. Um, all right. You can reply to this message. <laughs> oh, okay. Or do you want to stay here, Caleb? I will stay, uh, I, uh, pull out the wire I'm gonna and say quietly to quietly walk to the, to the, to the, Nonchalantly walk to the back of the house. Open the check. door for my cat. I'm also going to change my appearance. I'm going to go to. I'm going to go to. Uh, um, oh, to me? Yeah. Um, drow. Kind of the the closest I can think of to hippie drow. Okay. It's an attempt. All right. All right. Hippie drow. Hippie drow. Hippie drow. All right. Stealth check. Stealth check. All right. All right. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. And I'm just gonna. I keep l- getting older. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm not coming in or anything. I'm just stopping at the open window and looking in. Okay, you make your way around. Uh, in your new form as the drow, you do not draw as much attention as you would have before. Mm. So the DC was not as high as it would have been. So nothing. No one seems to be following you. Mm. Eventually, you guys are there behind you. Watch as a hippie-looking drow slowly saunters up in your direction. That's it. That? You can tell by the staff. Yes. Is he holding a staff? I... Same material. Yeah. Oh, oh, hi, hi, hi! Do your detect magic thing. Um, we don't know which box it is. Detect magic. Uh, you detect magic. Nothing in the chamber draws a magical mm-hmm. essence, but inside the room where they are, in that same uh, corner where you left it last time. In, in the room where Ford and Jester are. Correct. Oh, I pick up the uh, thieves' tools that he dropped, by okay. the way. You pick up and recap. <clears throat> it's in the other room over in the corner of the thing. Oh. Should we try I'll see you guys later. I'm just going to close the window. I'm not going to lock it, but I am going to close the window and keep walking. Okay. Should we try and pop open one of these grates? I'm going to keep walking. Guess there's, there's nothing magical in them. I, sure, yeah, sure. I'll just, yeah. You, Why, you one, take I'll one, I'll one. take okay, one. Okay, okay. I'll see oh, if I can pop. Why? Pop a crate. I don't know. We gotta do something. I, yeah, like, I can't keep know. this up forever. Fucking, you know, searching that inventory list. Uh, Caleb seconds. told me. Did you message me to open yeah, the door I for you? To open the door for the cat. <clears throat> There's a door no. to this room to the rest of the no. building. You don't have to do it. But it's that's what upstairs. The room you're in, I think. There are two doors. There's yeah. the door that leads into the chamber that they're in, and there's the door that goes upstairs in the spiral staircase. The door so I have no is idea what's in between those two doors. Literally in the same. Doesn't matter. Uh, well, no, no, just do no, no, no. Yeah. This, there's a main it. shop. Yeah. There's a door to the storage facility. Yeah. There's a door at the top of the stairs. Yeah. This so your cat is in the room with we're, the goblin. We're and, good. Okay. We're good. Cool. Goblin, <laughs> goblin oil. So you're both grabbing what? Random boxes. <clears throat> Random locked boxes. Okay. Make a make sleight of hand checks. <laughs> Why? Oh, you're gonna pull out. I don't know what else to do. You're pull out bison shit. And Nineteen. Uh, 27. 27, and like you both make stealth checks as well, because you're doing this quietly. Can I see them doing this? No, we're there in the storage room. Uh, 20 something, 29. Okay. Uh, Thankfully, because of the the loud, (laughs) awkward singing of Ford, it seems to to not catch the sound of some of the wood splintering as you kind of crowbar your way into one of the crates. Uh, You open the inside and uh, See what looks to be collections of spices. Um, uh, what looks to be different substances captured in, in jars and bags, and it's very strong, but a different smell than the rest of the chamber. Uh, you open yours, and on the inside, it looks to be um, this kind of very, very fine diamond-like powder. 
Okay. It has like a like a like a, a, a faint greenish sheen to it in certain bits of light. I'm gonna take it. A bunch of that. Yeah. A bag of that. Okay, so put a, a, a Ziploc bag of that. A, uh, make an Arcana check. Snort it. Four. Yeah. Four. You have no idea what it is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my pocket has some spices just because. And then let's get the fuck out of here. That, okay. Sure. I think we mission accomplished. <laughs> All right. Uh, on the way out, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to slam the window shade as loud as I can after we're out. Okay. At this point, uh, <laughs> Mara has uh, her hands like in the armor, like has greased up primarily all of the chest and kind of gotten down to the stomach a little bit. And it's like, <laughs> and you see, you need to make sure you get all of the nips and crits. What was that? <laughs> Turns and pulls the hands out. It's about was to up to the elbow in your armor and goes like, <laughs> Uh, shh, 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 shh. Get, out, get out, get out. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out. Oh, oh. Right, right, we leave. <laughs> Run out of the door. Jesus. All right, you guys leave. She, so she, she reaches down beneath the counter for something right as you guys close the door behind you, looking over towards where the sound came from. Mm-hmm. Close the door, closes. You're outside. Frumpkin's still in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's not a problem. Though. Not a problem. But does Frumpkin see anything happen? Yeah, what is, he, what is she grabbing? Perception check for Frumpkin. <laughs> Fucking finally. <laughs> it was high before, I just got stopped by a door. 23. Yeah. So you watch as the goblin reaches underneath the counter and pulls out what looks to be a, a, a regular crossbow mm-hmm. that's just kind of resting there. Cocks it at the ready. Looks to the corner, it's empty, and goes. <gasps> and goes over and turns the lantern down, the oil lantern really low. Makes a head movement, and you watch as the door just kind of <laughs> opens on its own. And then brings a crossbow up and enters into the chamber out of sight. So, from. My end, and from its point of view, it looked like an invisible person opened the door. Possibly. Or the door opened, okay. I will just continue to watch for the moment. You hear some rummaging? Some more rummaging, a few minutes of moving and scuffing feet. And you hear a latching. And then uh, Amaru walks out again and is like, We gotta be careful. I don't trust it. <sighs> well, I'm gonna get to bed. Call on the next shift. I'm closing up shop. And she goes and sets the crossbow back underneath the counter. Walks over, grabs some keys, heads over to the door, goes ahead and locks, holds the door open, and you watch as. On the far corner of the door, closes in its own. A figure appears, humanoid, cloaked, <gasps> hood back, um, is a uh, very thin, kind of gaunt-looking bugbear, fur trimmed fairly short, uh, and just kind of looks over, nods, and follows up. And the two of them leave the building. The rest of you, are you waiting outside? No, well, I mean, yeah, we're, I'm, so me and Ford are kind of standing around, like, you know. Who, right, right. Did you say that Moro and the bugbear left the building at the end of that? Is that what you said? Uh, uh, or just the gang leaves the building? The gang leaves the building. Yeah. Moro and the bugbear leave for a second, but the bugbear stays out there in front. Stays, stays. Kind of holding the door, yeah. And okay. has dropped its invisibility. For the time being, it seems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was the invisible thing in the room with us? Yeah, it was in the shop. Yeah, we got made. Oh no, it was. It was. No, it, it, it was in the shop. No, sorry, it was in the shop. Oh, oh, not with oh, yeah. yeah. She's got. She didn't act like she knew anything. Invisible help. She's got invisible help, like in that room. Okay, so. It's great to know. Yeah. Frumpkin, poofs out, mm-hmm. and I feel everybody in on what I saw. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Are you guys left the building though? Yeah, yeah, we no, walked. Yeah, we we yeah, yeah, took a walk around. Okay, we can be back to the shore now. Yeah. Oh shit! Well, that's good to know. Yeah. And I got this shiny stuff. Ooh, what and is I, it? I don't know. And I Maybe got, it's jam dust. I got spices. Ooh. What kind of? I don't spices? know. 
You're so shiny. Caleb, 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 is it magic? Is it magic? Caleb, look at it. I will take a look at it. Uh, that's 17. Oh. 17, okay. It is, it is not natural. Uh, at least it isn't in its current form. Um, Drugs. It's in, it's it, it it's processed in some way. You're not true, you're not true to the material, and your world experience. I'd say you're actually not sure what it is. I have no idea what this is. It's, it's weird. It's spice, but it's sued. It's got to be drugs. <laughs> uh, go ahead and make a. Uh, yeah, with my criminal criminal background. Yeah, I actually, no, with your criminal background, you yeah. would know exactly what it is. Yeah, it's sued. This is some oh, it's sued. Yeah. It is sued. <laughs> You demanded the crossover, it's finally happened. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. Mighty nice. No matter where it. you are. Oh, no. oh, my God. So did we um. just did we just find like like basically oh my god, we just we just found like Oh my god, it's a fucking front. It's a front. Oh my it's god, it's a, a front. fucking front. Well, what's the um, what's the nothing stuff? in well, the store? First, I'm just gonna make a, a see if it if it rings a bell with my arcane knock. I am the bugbear yeah, that knocks <laughs> the, the power. <laughs> yeah, just make our contract. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? No. Natural twenty. <gasps> oh shit. Oh, well. Uh, it is a pouch of residuum, powdered yeah. residuum. Mm. Out of character. I knew it. Right, in fact, I know. What? Mm. White stone. White stone. Oh, it's coming together. <laughs> um, this particular, this particular, because residuum can take different forms. Mm. This is ground white stone. Mm -hmm. um, it looks to be probably the equivalent, or what could be utilized, up to about a thousand gold worth of enchanting. Does this mean I'm vaguely familiar with white stone? Uh, it means you've heard you've heard of it. Heard of it it's, yeah. I mean, the, 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 the source of, of this particular residuum, it comes, um, it comes from one location. is very sought after, which is why the locale was so uh, carefully guarded once Whitestone began to rise back to prominence. And since I was just a guy who stabbed things before, but now I'm a wizard, what would I use a thousand gold worth of enchanting powder for? Enchanting. To enchant but objects. I this myself is... can do that. Yes. I used to be a rogue. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, no, no. Uh, you you can you can create your own magical items if you'd like to. Yeah. You don't have to find an enchanter to do it. You can. It just takes time and money to do so, and certain spells that can be adjacent to the kind of magic you want to create. I know. Hmm? I should have had you. Well, maybe I, can. I didn't realize. Didn't know you can you get your money back. Go it's only been back. a couple of days, maybe. Okay. maybe. Oh. Or maybe we go down that path for you, and I can make sure that I don't get my head shut off. Yeah. It's fascinating. Think Figure about it. it out. It's not a bad idea. It also might be able to, this stuff might also help work the rest with of the putting the sword yeah. back together, I possibly. possibly. Mm -hmm. But yeah. residuum is multi purpose. Yeah, it's just, it's magical potential. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, I also don't own it, it is the groups. Yes, it is. It's actually not because she found it. Does it I glow? gave it to Kate. It just glow Anything a little? I have is Kate. Uh, you go and take some in your hand if you want it. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's mine. <laughs> It's a very, very, very faint glow that might be psychosomatic, but nevertheless, you're excited. I pull out my black light. I'm going to charge it. There's a glow now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys have reconvened at the. Is that the name you're choosing for it now? The Jor House. What? The Jor House. It's either the Jor House or the Tree House. Jor House. <laughs> In the middle of the street. That's, I mean, yeah. what else can it be now? The Jor House. And it's locked. <laughs> what about the MT House? What's the MT? The MT house. The, the MT house. The MT house. home. The, the MT, MT house. home. I mean, I really like that. It could always be the uh, the Jor house with the MT spa. Ooh. Oh. I think you'd appreciate it. What that. if it's just Jester's house of <laughs> sexy time and sweets? Empty house. It's got a good vibe. <laughs> <laughs> the empty home. I want to go there. The empty home. It's also good because it'll make it easier to. Be slime Come about to it. sex and have done up. What do you guys <laughs> want to do? What's a giant tree. What the, what's a, what's a what? You don't have to decide now, but you have to decide something. Your house. Empty home. Your house with the empty home spa. <laughs> empty home with the your house spa. <laughs> <laughs> the clown room. We will. TBD. You will deliberate will over time. It will present itself. But regardless, you have you have two days before this time period. Uh, anything else you guys want to do, or are you just running up the clock? Um, other than 
I was, can right, we yeah. try and scry on this guy again? Yeah, oh, day. yeah, the next yeah. day. Yeah. Next day, but that okay. also that burns a fifth level. How are there? Go does, with but the, yeah, but it's before. a day. Yeah, two days. Yeah. Are there? Do could we get like a? Could I walk around and figure out the inns and the motels in the area? Uh, in which area? The Coronas, mm. the uh, the Galamafri. It's a big city, and there are a lot. There are a lot. What? Are, what's Is the it nearest? Possible? I don't know. Hmm. Nothing. Like we had the map of like Amon. I wonder if it's possible to get the map of Rosana. Look yeah. for a map. Rosana. That'd be nice. That could be, be good for the for the. Then we could start stop like, pulling out the war room and call it the map room. Mm. You can make an investigation check. I'm not going to make this. Is there, any, is there any point to bringing some of this residuum to the person who's trying to make 19. Yasha's thing? There are no cartographers okay. um, necessarily, but you do find a general store and you ask this one uh, kind of wayward lizard man in the corner who's kind of had a small question. He's like, uh, Maps, nothing of this city, I'm afraid, but. Uh, the scout dropped this off not long ago. Oh, not of the city, okay. but uh, at least of the vicinity. What is it? That's a map of your house. That would be wonderful, too. 15 gold pieces. Steal it twice, the price. Okay, okay, yeah, 15 gold sounds good. Blink, 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 blink. What? It's a bit used. <gasps> oh, it's huh? real! It's a real map. I thought you were just gesturing. It's slightly used. There's blood on this oh thing. Keep telling people. Where did it come from? Where did it come from? So I hot. never said. Our cellar floor. <gasps> Ooh, that's hot. That's hot. That's hot. That is super sexy. Put that shit out here. Where everybody can see it. Okay, okay, but I want to look at it. Uh, okay. <gasps> oh. Right. That is so That's sexy. Right. Where did this, this map, map camera is brought to you by <laughs> Dwarven Forge. They currently have a free 406 page PDF module tied to their Dungeons and Doom products available or not on their website. Map cam, Dwarven Forge. Oh, wow. Holy toy. Where are we? Where are we? Yeah, where are we? Rosanna. Uh, Rosanna. Asari. Yasha. That's where you're from. Oh, wow. <gasps> no, fuck. Ooh, look at I can at see my house. There's from a lagoon. Here. Oh, my God. We. Oh, my God. The many hosts of. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my Ingrid. God. Oh, my mm-hmm. God. It's a lot. Wildwood. Asarius, oh, we've been there. Whose blood is it? Is this all of Jorhas? Uh, at least on the map. Yeah. Whoa. That's and which way point. is the Empire? That way. Okay. We're here. Wow. Whoa, we're really far in. Yeah, yeah we're as far in as you can get. Yeah. Well, is there a, is there hey, a coast? Wait, let's this go way? over here. It <laughs> yeah. Looks like there might be based on the map. But like over the mountains, there's a. It looks like there might be, yeah. <laughs> Pennsylvania. You can always ask around. Uh, wow. Oh my gosh. All right, the well, that's cool. Bluffs. Yeah, very cool. Oh, wow. I mean, we could just try and mend the sword. Where, and if you're uh, curious about something on the map, you can always ask local. Nice. Yeah. But. Oh um, hey, Caleb. Yeah. yeah. Would giving that white stone residuum to the person who's enchanting Yasha's things? Quite possibly. Help? Would they ask where it came from? Mm-hmm. Quite possibly. Hmm. <clears throat> Um, I have a feeling the trade of this type of thing is considered contraband. Yeah. What I recommend is that we follow that path for Yasha and decide what we do with the rest. All right. hmm. um, Jesse, mm-hmm. can yeah. you can you call can you ringy ringy dingy uh, Shikasta for me? Oh, just just find out if he's in all fields. That'll be a help and if. and free for a, a, a mission. Okay. Yes, Matt. <laughs> Sorry, Kari. Um. Okay. Hi, it's Jester. Miss you so much. Are you still in Allfield? If you are, are you free to help us out? There's a little boy. Oh, <laughs> hey, Jester, baby. <laughs> it's been a while. Not in our field, but still 
trudging around the Empire. <laughs> What's little? <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's a little boy in Allfield who could use help getting to my mom and Nicodranus. For money. For money, if you want. Seven more, six more words. Also, I really think you're wonderful. I appreciate that. I take no money for my help, but if there's a boy in trouble, and it's for my friends, how could I say no? <gasps> Give me a week of travel. Shikasta. Shikasta. Get to all Shikasta. Mm. Okay. Oh my gosh, Shikasta, you're so wonderful. A week of travel, you got it. His name is Luke. He's with Edith. He's with Edith, and Bryce is looking after him. <laughs> <laughs> Operation. <laughs> well, I guess I better start packing. Oh. Well, your problems are solved. Well, it's a, a problem is solved. <laughs> Still responding says, You're "Lucky you caught me at this time. Things have been busy." That's last year. Oof. He said things are sounding busy yeah, there. Man, cool. I bet things are getting crazy. His voice is even sexy secondhand. <laughs> it's I'm amazing. I'm so sorry, Carter. It's amazing. <laughs> I mean, you this. He called me baby. Oof. Yeah, I know. Oof. <laughs> Minotaur is no a Minotaur, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We should scry. Oh, did we oh, do no. that again? No, no, We're we haven't scribed on him yeah. again. Let's try again. Mm -hmm. All right, he's trying it. First, you don't succeed. I'm going to try it again. Yeah, all right. Sure. So, taking the pieces once more. Natural one. Yes. Ooh. Fuck yes. Okay. Talk to me. <clears throat> so, you close your eyes, sitting in the circle. <clears throat> you feel these fingers grab the end of your hands. And you kind of open your eyes just a second, and you're not in your room more than you're in kind of a white, amorphous space. And there you see the green cloaked visage of the traveler holding your hands as he kind of leans forward and says, Let me show you. Okay. And you watch his body kind of vanish into the ether, surrounded by kind of grayish white clouds. You're not sure which way is up, down, and your eyes feel like they're. Unfocused, like there's something in them, like a film, like you just woke up after a long sleep, and as you kind of rub your eyes and you open them again, you're now inside of a darkened chamber. The blonde figure is there in front of you, standing at the back of this chamber, like a long hall. You can hear voices echoing, so it's a it's a big interior. Um, looking just by the wall that he's at, there's fine dark wood. Uh, laid against it, there is a patterned wallpaper, and there is a wall-mounted candelabra, like two feet to his right, that is flickering flame. You see him uh, with a, a book, a small one, like a, like a little journal-type thing, and has it open and is currently writing and looking forward. And you get the sense that he's essentially taking notes. Make a perception check. And he's facing outward, the wall behind Correct. him. Correct, the wall's behind him and he's facing outward and taking notes. 10. 10, okay. You only pick up some of the conversation. You hear words being said and it's kind of muffled and occasionally the voice will raise a bit as things get a little more intense and you pick out a few phrases. You pick up Mobilizing three legions to hold the Ashgard garrison back while our scouts watch the crests of the Ash Keepers for movement. And the rest of it's just come on, phony. Another voice is going around, another voice is. Another voice calls out We've righteous brand on guard at every major cavern network. While we outnumber their forces, they are wily with their use of passages beneath the world. They can strike in small numbers nearly anywhere. Yeah. Here's some. More conversation, some muttering, and then a voice say, 
Send more declarations for coin for loyal hands to the cities of the coast. I should like a word with the Concord on calling in some favors. When the armies are upon us, release the Scourges. This distraction will be what we need. Yes, my liege. Yes, my liege. As the figures that are kind of blurred in the distance off the cusp of this vision turn and begin to walk towards it, the vision <laughs> flickers, strikes, and then vanishes. Something seems to intercept and prevent the spell from searching as these figures approach the source of your scry. Forcefully, you're ejected from the vision and find yourself back in your room. <laughs> you alright, Jess? Yeah, something just pushed me out. What do you mean? Like, like somebody got in the way of the scry, you know? Like they, <coughs> they canceled it. Caleb starts fingering the necklace around his neck. Mm-hmm. I tell them everything that I heard, and I draw the picture, you know, of the wallpaper and the candelabra yeah. of the. I don't know if it means anything, but. You don't recognize the wallpaper specifically, but each of you do realize the, the patterns uh, of it seem to be uh, dwindling. Yeah. But the location doesn't ring a bell. He sounded, they said my liege. To, to the blondie? No, 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 he was taking notes. They said my liege to the guy that he was looking at. And they, they are empire folks? It was definitely empire. The base Apparently they're hiring the gold chain people to be like an army for them. Hmm. They're really badass warriors, right? Yeah, are we entirely sure we should be keeping this to ourselves? Well, unleashing the scourges as a distraction, which also, is exactly what I was afraid of that they were doing by opening these rifts to the abyss. Was well, that what the scourges are? The rifts? Perhaps. That's what I'm guessing. Could be. They also mentioned specific attacks at specific places, right? Ashgard. Yeah. We could. We could warn the dynasty of these specific attacks. Do we want to? We could save lives. Well, it would save. Make a history check, both uh, Caleb and Beauregard. Come on, Bo. Natural 20! Yes! Oh, I've been feeling real bad about myself with these rolls. <sighs> Though the the opinion of the time you've trained with the Cobalt Soul seems to largely be that of one who fucks off and doesn't pay the mind that a devoted monk would, people like Dairon have seen the keen sense for gathering information and the utilitarian usage of it. Passing through, as this conversation's happening, your memory banks, scourgers, a phrase that, that, that kind of lingers for a second in your brain, and you, you think about, could be the rifts, could be the rifts. No, scourgers, whoever read about that, read about that. Scourgers is a colloquial nickname for the royal assassins underneath the crown. Uh, it's, the term itself is used like a, like a ghost story. People talk about them, and in history there's references, but you know, how much can be proven? They do their job well enough that they are just a ghost story. Yeah. You got that with a natural 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a lot of people know about that. Sorry, I thought you said scourges. Yeah. But it's scourgers. Oh. Are you really? sure? Was it scourgers? It could have been. I just scourges sounded from. Scourgers. Yeah, it could have been scourgers. Why? What are they? Mm, people who are shadows and stories. I honestly wasn't sure if they were real or not, but. Also, people don't think that the expositors are real. They're like royal assassins, like people that rich people don't want you to know about. 
that they have killing other people that they don't want. That sounds like. I like involved. scribed into like a really secret meeting. Her conversation. That's a really good time. Her conversation strikes you as. You've, 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 only you've only heard the term. You've only heard the term once before, and it was a long time ago. You didn't make the connection, but. But it's me and my friends. Volstrecker is the title you're more familiar with. You were a scourger. No. They were training you to be a scourger. I think so. You were going to be Volstrecker. like a shadow, like an assassin. Yeah, I, I failed though. I, I uh, broke off. I broke. Off. You'll always be a, an assassin to you. <laughs> you can be anything you set your mind to. No. It's weird for those sentiments right now. This, these are bad people. Yeah. These are bad people. We should tell the Bright Queen. Who do we want to help? My, my. Not the people who messed you up. If we tell them about this, we are for sure taking a side now. We are definitely saying we're for sure, Hoss. Yes, there's right. If we what say if we nothing, are. we are also taking a side. If we say nothing. Yeah. What if we capture this blonde bastard? I. Okay, but he's, he's in the Empire. Like, what are we going to do? He's, he's apparently going to be here, here in two, two days. days. Well, I mean. You said he was taking notes? He's taking notes. Mm. Yeah. It sounded like a war meeting. And talking to a, 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 a liege, you said? They, everybody was saying, my liege, my liege. I mean, we should do both. We should let the Bright Queen and the throne know about the attacks, and we should set an ambush with help you are for the man with the blonde hair. You were overhearing a conversation with King Dwendal. Ooh, yeah, probably. My liege is, is definitely a king, not just like a high-ranking like, military person. No, no, liege is always a king. Ooh, damn, I was in there with the king. Ooh, did you get a look at him? No, all I could see was this blonde oh. guy. Well, the problem is... It's weird. I, it's have like, a, I have a it's doll. Like I can see him, and everything around it's like this kind of weird fuzziness and stuff, and then like sometimes I can hear things around them, and sometimes there's just oh, kind of like really muffled these sounds. It's a really, really cool experience. I, I want you guys to be able to do it sometime. <laughs> it sounds like this is a pretty highly orchestrated attack. It sounds like this is a several point invasion. Coordinated. If they're talking about mobilizing three legions, Sorry. bringing in the Ash Guard to guard, or the, Ash, the Righteous Brand to guard, Moving to the Ash Keep and then sending out the Scourgers. Dates, did they say dates, times, when? Soon? You didn't pick up any of that? Not that I could hear. I, I only heard them when they raised their voices, you know? Sometimes it was kind of muffled. What if this blonde bastard, this is his side of the plan? He's here to get deep, get beyond the borders, unleash these <coughs> rifts, or I don't know. Maybe if we find him, we can pull the timing out of him. Um, and then go to these places. And then what? And then take hold of some of these scourgers. That's a... And use them to reach deeper. This Very intricate plan. Well, this maybe. seems complicated. The only timing we have is in two days, right? Correct. And what happens in two days? Well, we know something happens at the... Somebody oh, goes... Yeah. yeah, so we should sit in ambush with help. Yes. We should let the Bright Queen know about the Ash Keeper. That's all we have. I mean, we can make a small movement against this, but anything larger than that, I don't think we have time for. We can tip the scales slightly, might not even find balance, but it's a something. I mean, what if this guy, this blonde asshole, is there to meet with Moro? What if he's, what if those crates were meant for him? What if she is a mole? Yeah, entirely possible. I mean, look, we're not, it's not about choosing a side. We said in front of the Bright Queen, you said yourself that we want to learn more about these people. The only way that's going to happen is if we can start some kind of a dialogue, and as long as there are 
ambushes and secret plans being carried out, there is going to be no peace. Yes, yes. We, we have similar goals to the Queen, but not the same. But perhaps if we work together to 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 mm, uh, execute a sting, you know, and get these people, perhaps the Queen will want one thing, and our intentions are another. But she does not know how to know that. Yeah. We also have no proof <clears throat> of this conversation. No. We just heard it. But this moment happening and us catching this bastard would supply that proof. Maybe somebody was crying on us, right when I was crying on him, and they already know. They might. Maybe. And they wouldn't have to wait long to find out. It's two days. <clears throat> I mean, shit, if we're wrong, they can lock us up, but something's gonna happen one way or the other. Let's go tell, let's go tell. Yes, and, and from, from the Queen's perspective, we are just turncoats, yeah? Mm -hmm. And we are helping them against the Empire, but what we are really doing, we really need to find your contact. Hey, you guys, just so you know, there are spells that can make you tell the truth. So, you know, if it seems at all like there are things you don't want her to know, just be careful, okay? Sure. I think uh, what Jester, what Jester is trying to say, Mr. Caleb, is uh, I understand your impulse is to get on top of this, but <laughs> some things are too big to get on top of. Some, some things are just bigger than us, and any attempt to wrangle or get them to submit to our will is just, what, what was the old saying? Uh, uh, whipping the tide for daring to turn without one's leave. Maybe. People say that. I know. I Honestly, that's way more that. in depth than what I was going I think for. She was like, just saying, like uh, the point. Just, just so you know, there's there. a spell called on a truth, yeah. and she could use it. The point, the point I'm spells. making is maybe instead of trying to, to control the situation, which is beyond me, maybe we just try and do whatever good is right in front of us. We are talking about the same thing, and I do not need to tell any lies. No. I will say the same things I have said in her chamber as we are going to rip the Cerberus assembly down. We don't need to control the situation, we just need to shine light on it. That's what she wants. That's what we want. He's right, we're talking about the same thing. How do we well, get I guess in touch I want with what you want. How do we get what? Asik, are you listening to this conversation? What? We should probably just go. Yeah, sometimes I. We should probably go. I think we should just probably go knock. To the to the yeah. In the morning, maybe, so it's not in the dead of night. Okay. Uh, yep. Sure. I don't know. It seems pretty important. I, I feel like agree. I would want to know. I don't know if these people like sleep, right? It's just kind of. They put to sleep. Everyone mm, sleeps. I I, I don't yeah. want. I, I think we should just go. Let's. Just, I think we should just go too because that's an extra day. That would give them to plan. Mm -hmm. Time to think. Time to think. And the angle here is that we are suggesting that they use us as the traitors we are. Mm. I don't understand that, but. The angle here is. Uh, uh. We tell them what we know. We suggest they use us as insiders to the Empire. Mm. And we stay connected to it the whole way through. I understand now. I'm not from the Empire. Neither am I. No. Friends to the Empire, though. Friends to everyone, really. <laughs> I would agree with that. Maybe they'll give us something to help amplify our efforts. That would be nice. Yes. Let's yes. go. I see your reasoning, though. To the more bounders! Or really? we can just walk. Or we can just walk. Yeah, we'll we'll just walk. walk. <laughs> Is there a go. bus, maybe? <laughs> Trolley. All right, so what is now early evening, uh, roughly, I mean, a day, tomorrow is the day that was chosen for this meeting, whatever it is. You are currently gathering your things and heading towards the center of the city. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as you walk towards the Lucid Bastion, 
your heart's in your throat, preparing for whatever choice you're about to make, pull, discussing that as you're making your way. As, yeah, discuss as, uh, can I pull forward back a little bit and just trail behind the others for a minute? Sure. Can I talk to you? Yeah. I uh, am a bit in a conflict in my brain. <laughs> Having, I don't know what to do. About? You uh, remember Dyron, my, my trainer, my master? Sure. <clears throat> I should probably reach out to her, right? Oh, about this? <sighs> could you do that if you wanted to? I could have Jester send a message. Uh, well, in these situations, there are pros and cons. Yeah. What are the pros? The pros are that I reunite with someone who cares about my well-being and might be a potential ally. Cons? She's more connected to the Empire than I even knew. And any information or exchange or meeting could result in the demise of either one of us. I admit I had not thought about that at all. I don't know who I'm trying to protect more, myself or her. Or maybe I just have this like crazy thought that if we go off and we do something heroic and I save the Empire and become a war hero, then no one has to be assassinated. Real question, do you care about the Empire? No judgment. I didn't think I did. It's not the Empire that I care about. I just think the more and more that I'm on the ground and I'm walking and I'm seeing the faces of people from city to city and everyone's the fucking same. I mean, sure, people look different, have different customs and beliefs, but Everyone's miserable, everyone's just trying to survive, everyone's just trying to fucking make a living and raise a family. Dyron always give you a fair shake? Yeah, but at this point in time, I've spent more time with you all than her. Yeah, but some of these things come around. You gotta send them back the other way. She's been fair to you. You deserve, she deserves to get a fair shake from you. Doesn't mean you need to send these things in opposition, but I think if you don't give her a heads up, you'll be fucked up about it. She's a big girl, she can take care of herself. All right. Should probably tell her before, um, before tomorrow night, you think? Yep. Maybe she could help us. Or she'll slit my throat for being a traitor. I guess we'll find out. A lot can happen in 24 hours. Guarantee you she will if you don't tell her. Yeah, you're not wrong. All right, see how this works, I guess. As you rejoin the group, Heading towards the climbing stone spires, the Lucid Bastion in the center of the Korean dynasty capital of Rosona. We'll end tonight's episode there. We'll pick up next week. Uh, uh, Time to figure uh, your shit out. No. I got plenty to figure out. Jesus. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm tracking one. No, make that three. Five bogeys. I got nine bogeys. <laughs> Uh, information, cool. information is useful. Information can also be dangerous. Man, oh man, intrigue yeah. everywhere. Yeah. There's stuff happening all across Decor. the continent. <laughs> Sharks, gardening, fabulous. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Shit, all right, well, we'll pick up there next week as you guys step into the Lucid Bastion for whatever plan you have hatched. Um, Thank you, uh, Devin Roof, for the amazing map as you yeah, continue to make yeah, for the campaign. Yeah, yeah. So good. She's so good. Fuck, it's so dope. It's I don't so, know. so cool. What blood the creature that came from, but damn! <laughs> 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 We're gonna have to have a conversation about this. This thing is a what's that? Something. This is, is that this, your is, staff? this is my no. That's this is my this is my little sword. metal albatross that I've been carrying. That we have to recombine this fucking sword. That sword? You know what it is? No, I have no idea. It could oh, be, we gotta figure it out. Is it? It could be cursed. It could be great. I have no idea. Either way, it's a win. Either way, it's interesting. <laughs> All righty. Oh, well, here, thank you. Oh, Bull Strucker. What are you getting? Where was that? What did I It's the feather token that he used to make the tree. Oh. It's gone now. Oh, is it one and done? Yeah. One and done. Well used. So cool. Well used. Yeah. Making my best. <laughs> I, I feel, I, and the garden, when we get up there and there's like a proper description, there's some dope shit up there. It's going to be great. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay. I did some good shit up there. Right. <laughs> Stone Shape's a great, great spell. Well, folks, we're going to get to our shit. Um, oh ah. We have an hour till Smirch's birthday, so swarm her on Twitter when it gets there. Yeah. You're such uh, a husband. I, <laughs> Uh, well, legally, was, metaphorically, yeah, spiritually, I am. Um, <laughs> I know. Guilty as charged. Uh, well, guys, have a wonderful night. We'll see you next week. We love you very much. And yeah. is it Thursday yet? Yeah. Good night. Yeah.